Uh, what's up, guys? How's it going? I don't know if there's anything specifically you want to talk about today, but I will be covering some topics regardless, because I guess why not? Dude, Chipple Dipple's making me so fucking mad, dude. Do you want to know why? We make this Boy, whole video. We make this whole video defending him. We make this video defending him. We shit on Bo Blacks for it. We get we, we get in some interpersonal drama, and then he's tweeting about how he's like a furry now. What the? F dude. He literally betrayed me. It's a joke, dude. Everything he says is a joke. If he says he's a pedophile, it's a joke, dude. Every all okay, everything he says. Okay. But a being joke. a furry is way worse than being a pedophile. Would you not agree? True. So like. What the fuck am I no supposed comment, to- No comment, guys. What the fuck am I- No, listen. We need to call Chip. I told Chip I would call him before I went to LA, and then I, like, didn't, but... I need to call him, I think, at some point, and just have a conversation about why he's a furry. He's probably on. He just messaged me, but... I'm gonna add him. What's his- Do... he's not... Is he on the Chip account <laughs> why right are we... now? What? What? No. Uh, is he? No. This is an old account that he doesn't even have access add to. Add his anymore. current account right now. Do you know um, that guy has like at least 50 different discords? He, he does, bro. Has two. He does. He only has two. He this had like seven, he bro. Password too. Dude, he's a disco. He's a Twitter tr uh, artist okay. troll, dude. He. He's dude, why are you still molding? <laughs> like it's so. Him. He's it's a like furry. Drama, okay, Elian. Like, cool. Elian chat asked I'll stream on Twitch. That website sucks. Maybe I'll stream on like Kick or Rumble, but never Twitch, bro. Where the f ship? Add ship. You gotta ask him first. You what have you his new what account. What do you mean ask dude. him? Just add him, and then if he wants to join, he'll join. And then he, he can leave if he no, doesn't want to. No, because I don't want to ambush him with them both. Add him, and he's going to get on stream, and I'll say, you're live. Ambush Address the allegations. Him with the furry allegations, dude. I don't even yeah, know like, which he doesn't, I don't even think he knows that, you're live like, right now. Yeah. Well, he know. Okay, he's going to know when he gets in. Dude, innocent until guilty, okay? That's Let's what I'm saying, bro. He doesn't like him. He doesn't like the furries. Get him on stream, Bernie. No. What's his account <laughs> right now? If you want him on stream, you gotta ask him yourself. What's his account right now so I can just message him? Um, I'll send you the name. Okay. Oh, sh no, 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 don't do 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 I died. I stopped paying attention what? for What'd one moment and I died in Fortnite. I'm gonna blow my brains out. I'm a fucking loser, bro. What the f I chimed in with a haven't you people ever heard of? Is this it? Okay, this is definitely it because it was a profile picture. Yo, Chip. What's up? Are you on stream? They're on stream We're right not now. on stream. Like... We're not on stream. We're not on stream. We're not. That's they are on stream. Okay. We're not on They're stream. trying to get me to ambush you. I was like, I'm not adding Okay, you. why are you a furry now, dude? What? You, you can add me. I made this whole video defending you, and they, now you're a furry? They're, they're, they want to interrogate you. Shut the you f*** up. Let, me let him address the allegations. Don't play defense lawyer, dude. You're. A, why are you a furry now? Because I, I just wanted to connect to my furry side, dude. With my That's not good, dude. Twitter. That's really not good. Dude, I've literally, I literally have a bunny costume. I've been hopping around my room all day, dude. Don't give in. Shit, dude. please. Don't give in to the Can you? The thing is, I don't give even in. doubt that. You're probably telling the truth, bro. Like that sucks. No, no. I like that. that I like that graphic you made on Twitter. <laughs> the the YouTube one. I retweeted that, and I had a lot of like really funny replies. Because well, my well, followers were like, "Why the fuck is he at the bottom?" And then I, the the Turkey Tom <laughs> hater base was like, "Why the fuck is he on the same level as Linus Tech Tips?" that like it was beautiful I, I got so many people asking me like like why the f did turkey tom he made a video about you and now you're putting him in the bottom tier and i said like i was like replying <laughs> and being like shouldn't have with me like, i know i saw <laughs> really that really it pissed was pissed off good. about it like like people are so stupid <laughs> teaching turkey <laughs> on turkey twitter like, turkey like a lesson dude oh my i need God. to pull up this graphic on stream here it is guys we have the consumer's guide to youtube we have mount kino which includes only plays exploshi drawing with jazza <laughs> Gamer from Mars, Gods of Entertainment, Let's includes go. Watch Mojo, I Show Speed, Super Mario Logan, SNL, Darmon, Marketplace of Ideas. We have a few categories. We have Demigods of Media Critique, which is Phantom Strider, Movie Bob, Gaijin Gooba, LS so Mark, Ralph the Movie Maker. Marketplace of Ideas says IGN Stan Co. That guy's a loser. Soy Tube Kids. Demigods of Rhetoric has been. Is it is it binging with Babish? Keffels, Mr. Girl, Hassan Piker, and Vosh. Wendigoon, YMS. Video essay sh if you put Wendigoon and Lemino in there, dude, the people that's easy, that's such good bait. Grave of shitty media opinions, Emp Lemon, Red Let you literally put the most like Reddit God channels on like the oh, wait, you put Emp Lemon in both tiers and video essay and uh content dude. hell. And I'm I, I, kept, I kept I'm in content track. hell with Jack Stauber. Wait, with Arlo and Sam just Arlo sitting there. Is, yeah, why is Arlo there? <laughs> I just think it's really funny to hate on Arlo. Like he's not like a bad like there's nothing wrong with him or his content, but it's just like it's like a little puppet guy and it's like yeah. you. No, Chip, this puppet. is actually this is the real interrogation time. He also okay? kind of he also molded when um uh he made like a Sonic 2 movie review and everyone 
on it because Sonic fans are crazy. And then yeah. he made a whole 50 minute video like responding and coping about all the bad comments. I'm like, bro. <laughs> He's a puppet. You should stick to puppet things. Yeah. He's I like his channel right. a lot, though. Bernie, what's the real yeah, allegation? What's the real confrontation? What's the okay. real Yeah, uh, yeah. What are, Chip, what are you cornering This is it. For? This is the time. This is the time to spill everything, okay? We were what talking earlier. We were talking about how all these Twitch dudes, when they got big in 2020, like Carson, Too Mad, all these dudes, there's probably uh, crazy shit going on. You helped start them, okay? You created S&P Earth, so you got to spill uh, everything yeah. you know now. Publicly okay, so live. Is this, is, this, is this the tell-all? Am I doing the tell-all This is the tell-all. Right this is the tell-all. You know, I was... I was originally going to do a uh, like a, Reddit a YouTube AMA. video or a document. <laughs> a Reddit AMA would have been cool, but <laughs> I was going to do like a big document with like everything from SMP Earth and like what happened. I even was kind of talking with you, Bernie. This was like two years ago. At this yeah, point. we. I remember we talked about it when it happened. It's <laughs> a lot of funny stuff, a lot of like bullshit stuff. Uh, I wasn't like smart. I'll pre preface it by saying that I was like still in high school and I was in charge, like the single handedly in charge of like this. Gigantic server, so just for clarification. How many um, um people were on the server? It was like on SMP Earth. It was like hundred. It was a hundred, and they were all like, like a bunch. A bunch of them something. were famous. Like most of them were famous, right? Like Dude, SMP yeah, Earth yeah. was the step before Dream SMP. Like legitimately, yeah. Yeah. was it actually like, like, like a, a direct war? Dream it SMP? is a direct iteration. Yes, it, it's what, right after it's it what shut down. Led Dream to SMP it. started because SMP Earth. Uh, before that, like SMP Live originally it was like the first one, and there wasn't much role playing on that server, right? It wasn't like as theatrical. It was just literally just Minecraft with friends, and they streamed it. Uh, Dream SMP was based on a 4chan server on the Int board. Uh, it was like the same gimmick where it's a you know map of the Earth. Everyone has a nation, and you fight in battle. I wanted it to be more PvP oriented, but the streamers didn't like that because they didn't like getting griefed and stuff. So we pivoted away from you know that type of stuff, and we moved to uh, like they started kind of leaning in the role play, but I never really facilitated it, uh, which was my bad. And maybe because that Dude, stuff's fun. That but was, then that led that to was... like dream uh, dream SMP that like filled that hole basically. SMP Earth was how we met, and I remember the reason why I wanted on was like we had. Because I remember when you first came up with the idea, you tweeted about it, and then I reached out. But the reason why we wanted on is because one of my friends thought like it would be really funny to just mess with all the like the streamers on there. So like, but, but by the time we got on, nobody was playing on it. But we had all yeah. these like different nicknames that we were gonna call people, and like we had all these plans to build <laughs> structures around their. Like I we were gonna call voiceover. That, and so to me, the thing that set the tone was you had a shrine of that really. That picture of Sam Hyde right at like the start of the map or whatever. Yeah. That was a nice, it was like, like such a fucking groiper. Dude, nobody even yeah. knew who he was at the time, really. Like no. they didn't I, even I like, like a, I, I remember like the map had Epstein's Island on it. Like like and I just put it there and like no one noticed it. People would like streamers would like go and land there and go in the basement and there'd be like millions of baby villagers like tied to leads and they'd be like, What? This is so weird. What is this? Like they didn't know what it See, was. See, this is why we need, was, like, we need to do this video. I take fifty percent, you guys each get twenty five. That's a fair cut, let's be honest, for all the work I'll put into video it. on what? What is what are you talking about in the video? SMP Earth history. Everything that went down, oh. diggity dog, drama. You don't style. need to pay me. Well, I'll pay you anyway because because I'm, I'm a charitable guy, but I'll take the majority share. Because that was a video I thought about guy. making once, but we didn't end yeah, up doing it. Bernie, we have to do it. We'll do there that. Yeah. a ton Maybe. of just insane stuff. Yeah, there's, like, there's a lot of funny stuff. Shit. Like, oh man, I feel almost kind of bad talking about this, but there was one point where I was caught in a three-way love triangle between three streamers that developed on the server. Okay. What do you and mean one of a them love got really, triangle? There was three okay, what, people yeah. that had you like say, a love spat. <laughs> You worded it like you were one of the lovers. You were yeah. the... Oh, no, yeah. no. I yeah. thought... No, no. Like, no. hanging over there, Chipple Dipple. No, God, there's three people. Keep in mind, I was, what, like, 17? And there, these were, like, streamers. There was three people on the server that all, like... It was, like, a three-way love triangle. And one of them... They, two of, like, the two guys that were after this girl were really mad at each other and kept going and breaking each other's beds. So they'd, like, respawn at the spawn point and, like, destroying each other's builds and stuff. And they, like, made me sort out and i had to do like couples therapy with them over discord and it was like really no, you didn't have to you back. chose Wait. to no they, they they threatened to leave the server and these were like big names so well, who like, were oh, they sick. wait i thought this was uh, like at a this point okay thing. okay like, okay i believe no, now oh, it was, to leave this now. was this was real visceral Bro. like realistically like, it, doesn't, it doesn't drama. matter who uh, if you leak their names the now. tension came out in minecraft by destroying beds that's how they it's been so long it's time, it is time to leak it's, it's time, time to leak, leak. who okay. are it's they? time to leak okay yeah it was jameski crinios 
and this girl I don't remember because I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, girls, dude, but... I can see James Key. James Key, that guy sucks, bro. That guy's gay. No, well, no, honestly, <laughs> look, I, and I mean this wholeheartedly. I he was perfectly fine to work with on that server. I have no complaints. But he's a furry. It was the situation itself that was really bizarre, right? <laughs> he's a furry. Yeah, they're they're fighting over like they're fighting over a girl, so they're just like s slightly like dissing each other in public by like breaking each other. They're fighting over a girl screen. on like that they know on the internet. On Minecraft. Oh, yeah. no, but on they, Minecraft. They, they they were actually like one, it was like so it was like bad. real relationship drama that they were actually pissed about, and they were saying, "Chip, if you don't fucking deal with this now." Like, I'm leaving the server and I'm like telling everyone. What? We're telling everyone that we have a beef Bro. over this. Hub. So, well, no, telling Sorry, I'll like, do it right I'm after my like, math homework. Like, what no, the literally, f <laughs> They were saying that I wasn't like running the server properly. I'm like, oh, dude, I can't deal with this. I have like, I have like finals coming up. And they're like, dude, get in Discord now. And I had to sit there with these three people and like work out their issue. It's like so embarrassing. I was like, that's so funny, my mom though. was like t telling me it was dinner time in the background. It was like, you were I'm sorting out Jameski and Krinios' e-girl drama, mom. Beef, yeah. That's crazy, um, bro. People are wild. Krinios did not like me that much. Who was the girl? Oh, God, dude, I'd have to... There were... Was I it remember... I don't there were, like, a few... No, she had a... There were a few like, girls who were regulars, but I don't remember which one. The, they they all blur together. Handful, no offense, not to be, like, sexist or anything, but there was, like... There was, like, two streamers on the... I ain't remember that. There was, oh, the funniest thing, I had a friend named Grunk, and we still talk, he's like, uh, at the time he was like, oh, he had to be like 15, and, or he 14, and he played on the server, and there was at one point he was in a VC playing Minecraft, and there was this girl there, and I can't remember her name, I think Kara Corvus maybe, um, he was in the VC with her, and she kept like making fun of him, and he, she's like, she was like in her like, late 20s, and she's like, Oh my god, Grunk, you're so annoying. Don't you have math homework to do? Don't you have, like, a band class to go she's to, just kid? Wrecking and then they kept, kept this, like, owning poor Grunk, and Grunk's like, no, I don't have math homework. And, and then eventually it got too much, and she just, like, she said, like, wow, don't you, you should go sleep in your bed with your mom tonight, because that's who you're going to sleep in bed with. And Grunk was like, at least I don't show my boobs to grown men on the internet. Yo. <laughs> like, everyone, owned, completely everyone, owned. Everyone, go everyone got, like, oh, everyone got it, and she left the VC and then she made like I'm pretty sure she started tweeting about it. She's <laughs> mad, what? bro. Oh my god. She <laughs> Imagine getting owned that and hard by like tweeted about a 12 year old Minecraft streamer. Oh, this Jesus. is why the video I, no, no. needs to happen, bro. Wait, yeah, this video needs to happen now. Is, Come on. Well, the, it, well this, this is, is all so the hard to is, talk it's hearsay. That's gonna be the thesis. It's, it's hearsay. Dude, who it's cares? Completely... It's funny hearsay, dude. I don't even... It's, it's like, better formatted for a stream, okay? Everyone involved would say that it didn't happen is, like, the issue. <laughs> well, that's okay. We and just, who do you like, trust? Okay, okay. What we do, do, guys, what we guys, do is we do you guys frame trust? it as a fictional video. Yeah, just be like we made it up. All yeah. events are fiction. This it's is, like, a social fiction. network or whatever, but it's for, like, a Maybe. young child. Named Someone who do you guys trust, okay? Chipple Dipple yeah. or Kara Corvus? Frankly, I trust really. James. Who do you guys trust? The, my issue is that I'm retarded. Or like I don't remember names. Like these are like people I worked with for like is that seven months. That retarded or does that make names. sense? Because they're just like I don't know. random Minecraft dudes. I only remember like Call Me Carson and like Wilbur Soot because it was what's the people what's that What's the I Call Me Carson stuff? Let's let. Do you know anything about um, that? Yeah. So with Carson, I will say I you know everyone that I that knew him. All my friends knew him. Uh, very close with him. Every single person I worked with knew him. I had not ever heard one good thing. It, it was a universal, universally loathed by everyone he worked with, pretty much. Yeah, I, that, that's um, really. It's kind of what it's I heard. Similar, it's too. similar to Dream. So it's a similar phenomenon to Dream, where Dream is kind of a loathsome, not very funny or, or in that talented individual. Uh, and it's kind of like actually an asshole. But the only reason so many people worked with him is because he had this massive platform. Like if you got on Dream SMP, that's your golden ticket. For having a career basically like for a period there like if you were on dream smp you have a massive audience all of a sudden smp earth was the same thing with carson and smp live where people tolerated carson creators tolerated him because of the platform that it gave them which well, sounds it, evil it's, but it's just it's business. not just that he um what i heard is that he used to be like he used to actually be friends with these dudes and then when he got big like when he really started blowing up he just slowly changed and warped into, did you like, guys see that he uh I believe that too, he yeah. got a spot in an hungry, animated dude. show recently as a voice actor call what? me carson yeah he announced it on twitter go to his twitter you'll see what it is <laughs> what what people still work with him i mean i'm the, the thing is like 
if he's changed as a person, maybe he's better now. Like, I don't want to believe that he, like, can't change from whatever head he was, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think he, like, did anyone, did No, he? he was just an asshole, I think, which is, like, not good, he, but... He was really hard to work with, is the thing I know for certain. And then, like, there was also that thing, he was also apparently a psychopath. Um... He DMs, is like he's red in the animated Among Us TV dude, show. This is so. Oh, it's what? Among Us. I told right. you, bro. Dude, I'm mad, dude. That's a prestigious role. This I is like not Mario. Mario. He has to be lying. That's like being Mario. That's like crit, the thing dude. is, like, I feel like he's not really in the business of trolling anymore, and he's treating it real in the replies. He's like, hope I don't f this up. I could believe it. That's. Who else would they pick? Well, they're, 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 they're obviously gonna pick streamers and like people like that. And, Arson. Like, Dude, it, oh my god, the show would be so Do they so have the budget to get streamer Jay voice actors? Dude, Jack imagine how now. bad the voice acting's gonna be. And you're just gonna hear, like, the YouTuber's voice. Like, it won't Ugh. even sound like they're playing a character. It'll just sound like them. It'll be so uh, bad. That's gonna be such a bad Carson TV show. We need Carson here, okay? Call me Carson call in. I Everyone him get him to once. call in. I like he'll, one interaction. It'll be like a YouTube he looks collab. Wilbur Soot followed me for the longest time, and then I got suspended. But he was still following me oh. on my old account. People were people were reply to him and be like, you shouldn't follow that guy, and he just same. Oh, here. remember, so Tom? People did that. Tom, we tried to get you into that server. We were trying to get you yep. into S and P Earth. Oh, you told me it was be blacklisted. I think I think it was it was straight up because of Hyojin. That's yep, really Hyojin. funny. That f bro. That's it how, was uh, Hyojin, yeah, that... like some of her other. Friends. Wait, Hyojin wasn't on S and P Earth. What do you mean? I I swear to God, I remember there was Hyojin. Was it was it was one of her friends. There was some kind of. Oh no no, it was Weiss. It was Weiss. Yeah, it was Weiss. You're getting you're getting mixed up. So. I wanted yeah. Hyojin and Tom on the server because my vision for SMP Earth was invite literally everyone, every streamer, no matter what. Like if they have drama, it's funnier that way, right? Like if they have beef, it's funnier. Yeah. If they're a f***er, it's funny. <laughs> it was going to be awesome. But that didn't work because people threatened to leave the server if I like invited Tom. Or, I remember that. Like, we had an explicit conversation about it and it was just like, yeah, yeah we I tried to. But you would have been good. Well, it's whatever. I mean, like I wasn't even streaming at the time. So, I mean, I... I don't know if it yeah, would've... you can get revenge now with the SMP Earth video. Well, the thing yeah. is, like, we can yeah. do. I will do that video, but also, like, I already won because now, like, most of those people are like losers. No, with no audience. Carson won. We do nothing. You're not red and, and among us. And uh, Hyojin is. In, I mean, she like punched Punk Duck or something, and now she's like not famous, and no one cares about her. Dude, that dude did so much for her. That dude like messaged me for like days and days on end, trying to get me to take down my video uh, or like cut parts of the video where I made fun of her. And in exchange, <laughs> she like punched. In exchange, she like punched him in the head. Isn't that crazy? I remember. What the for some reason? I didn't even. I think I Is talked with her once. Yeah. I talked with her once in a call, and then for some reason, after the allegations, I ended up in a call with her, and she was just like, oh, she yeah. admitted to everything. And then I was just like, oh, oh, <laughs> and then I left. Well, like, I don't know, I didn't know what to say. Like, yeah, mm. this is like something I wouldn't have admitted like two months ago because it would have gotten me in so much shit. But before Hyojin was outed, we were friends. Like, we were like, we, we literally played Fortnite like every day. And that's crazy. Really? For how was, long? It was for like, at least like five months. Like, I, we'd like draw and like play Fortnite. And shit. Then one day I checked Twitter and I'm like, no, I checked Twitter and I'm like, Fuck, dude, it's over. I can't play Fortnite anymore. Yeah, and I haven't played Fortnite since. That's crazy. You should get on right now because I'm playing. Get Hyojin in the call right now. Part of me misses playing he uh, Fortnite with Hyojin. I don't care. I always, Hyojin, I'm always curious Hyojin's about how cool. all those people feel about me because I've been involved in like multiple videos, like talking about their weird friend group. I've talked to like Blues Dank and yeah. FPS Diesel a little bit about it, and the impression Blue I've gotten. Blues Dank is cool. Yeah, he seems cool. Diesel's cool too. The impression I've gotten is that that whole friend group fell apart. Uh, I've been meaning yeah. to talk to oh, Quite they about it a while ago, but I don't think Quite would ever spill the deets on that. But yeah, no. I've always just there's like curious. a lot of random. Those that 2016 group, like um, of like uh the, the classic commentators, you know, Pyro Cynical, um, who who are the like Hyojin was one of them. Just like that friend group, Chubbs was probably part of that group at one point. I'm Alex. But just like the people who were all yeah, the people who were all talking on Skype and had like their, their well, Twitter Spartans. groups. Those guys were all those guys were all weirdos, dude. They they were yeah, kind of yeah. degens. Yeah, them, bro. I wonder. Okay, not all of dude, them. Dude, where is our f***ed up friend group? Them. Where is our f***ed up friend group, bro? When do we get that? Uh, right, right here, here bro. Me. <laughs> Just wait. You don't know the things I've done. I've been waiting. It's been it's been too long. You, you shouldn't have made that video. Dude, don't. You really, really want to lose friends? Like that sucks. I like, don't I actually. I'm joking. I, that's the thing. I'm I joking. Feel, I don't. I feel want bad. To. I do genuinely. I feel really bad for the the people in those friend groups who weren't up because yeah. from their perspective, they just lost like their friends of like six years over some. Sh 
A lot of them were like teenagers while they were like witnessing this, shit, so they didn't know it was wrong. I don't know. Okay, Honestly, I'm, yeah. And, by the way, just just to clarify, say, I, I'm joking ahead. when I say where's that friend group because I I don't want that. My, I've been super I've been super blessed to just have like cool friends over the past like five six years. Like we haven't had some big falling friend, out, you know. My friend asks yeah. girls, tags every girl in my server on Discord and says, like, buy me DoorDash. That's what my friends do. I feel like you're supposed it's to buy really DoorDash annoying. for the girl. No, he, like, he like finds girls and says, buy me DoorDash now. And then they always say no, and he gets mad at it. Like, what? That's so random. Does oh, it ever hey. work? No, never works. <laughs> never, not even once, dude. Just one. No. Someone asked if I'm no, shud maxing. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm doing a reverse mewing. It's called wemming. And uh, I'm trying to decrease the sharpness <laughs> of my jawline. I'm really trying to get there. I think it's working out. Um, we're going to be there in it's no time. It's called the beefy method. I've also, been, uh, I've also been putting clothespins, clothespins in my ears and attaching them to the walls while I sleep to extend the, the size of my ears. <laughs> so they get bigger. What do you mean, you? Goblin maxing, You've been though. doing this too. Now you're just pretending that you're not taking I my know, advice I secretly know. behind the scenes. We're all shud maxing. <laughs> I know, yeah. Yeah, I'm on level five of my Jelk Max uh, adventure, my journey. I'm I'm personally uh, Recede Maxing. I'm trying to go into like smaller. And uh, oh, uh, we're getting okay, there. We're getting there. You'll get there soon. Yeah. C can I say something about uh, like SMP Earth and like those friend groups in general? Most like, definitely. Yeah. It's like weird because it seems like I'm like when I say like, oh man, there's so much behind the scenes. It's so crazy, guys. It is. But at the same time, like I have pretty high opinions of everyone I worked with at the same time. Like everyone from like Wilbur to time, Tommy in it, the grand majority of people I worked with are like shockingly upstanding people that were genuinely like extremely kind and nice, like, yeah, and very easy to work with. And I would say the grand majority of them, like they like deserve everything. Like they are like really like hardworking, you know. I ambitious, believe that. Like, oriented I mean, the people, thing is, like, to the commentary don't audience, don't keep secrets and stuff. To the commentary audience, if it was me and Bo Blacks, so they mostly fall for the negative, the, like the negativity. So they only hear about the scandals. Yeah. yeah. But the reality yeah. is that like ninety five percent of creators, most are, like, of them fine. are good. Yeah, most They're of them fine. are good people. And a lot right, of yeah. even a lot of the twenty sixteen people, they were a lot of them are good people. But it's just a lot of a lot of there's a lot of random that the public doesn't really hear about. That I wish someone would just come out and just dump everything out, lay all the cards out because it's kind of, it gets annoying. Will. Look, it's just, it gets really annoying when you see these people, they sit on their platforms, they lecture other people, mm -hmm. they lecture other people from moralistic positions. They talk about all these things of what you should and shouldn't do as a creator. And it's like, mother you are in no position to judge. And the only reason you, you'd think that you do is because you've snaked your way past every scandal. F V J I's yep, exactly. Inferno. Uh, says why Sipple Dipple deleted his channel. It's still there. It's just archived. There you go. I just added archive to the end of it. It's still there though. But yeah, no, they're oh God. It's it's just funny. The people that you would least expect to be like bizarre too. I even remember like voiceover Pete. Oh my God. There's some pretty bad stuff about him. Didn't that already come out? Yeah, he, like he was he seemed uh, hitting on a 16 year old or something that came out. Whoa, uh, whoa, that, I didn't know about that. I just that's totally. that's. Like, Wait, that's like what? People talk crumbs about crumbs compared to like the stories I heard. Are you I talking heard? about voiceover Pete? Yeah. Didn't he group someone? Uh, he, he, <laughs> I don't know any like, of oh God, what would you even call that? Like, he, like, was really drunk. This is the story I heard from some this girl is a, on This is alleged. Here, okay? This is alleged. Alleged. Allegedly. Uh, yeah. Uh, she told me that, because I remember the context was we were doing the SMP Earth Olympics, and I built this gigantic structure above it. It was a blimp. And the blimp had, like, voiceover Pete's face on it, and he was going to commentate the event. It was called the voiceover Pete blimp. And then Car uh, this, this lady kept, like, destroying it there was a streamer and i'm like what are you doing he's like we can't do this we can't have pete on the server we can't have him be the spokesperson for this i'm like why said, he uh dry me a vidcon i'm like what and he's like yeah he there was a dance or twitchcon there was a dance party at twitchcon or something everyone was really drunk and voiceover pete kept going up to girls allegedly and like rubbing his wiener on them Bro that's apparently what i heard a dirty old man dude yeah no literally like a dirty uncle dude that's what i heard okay guys i don't want to be the, the yeah uh, look allegedly the only thing that's i think public is that um there were some there were allegations like against him from him just creeping on people but i think the person he creeped on was of legal age i didn't hear anything about about minors i don't think but uh, he, well, there's a 16 year old that he said nice pics, Bridget, too. Was she 16? Like, oh, God. I thought. I thought so. I don't. I thought she. I, I could be wrong. It, it's been so long. I thought she just turned 18. Either I way. Remember. It's over. It's there over, was, Pete. There's also Ink T, but that, I think. I don't. Yeah, that, that was. Nobody up, knows Ink T. What's up really. with Ink T? I don't know what that is. 
he was kind of obscure. He wasn't like the biggest on that server, but he was a friend of mine for like a year before SMP Earth. Like we weren't super close, but we were friends. Uh, and then as soon as like SMP Earth started and stuff, he went AWOL for a while and then just got canceled. And uh, he, like it just went to his head instantly when he got on like SMP Earth and stuff and like SMP Live. And he had like group chats with like 30 like of his like female followers that he would like riz up, dude. It was like really, it, I don't think any of them were minors, but it was just like something that's well, like, he, dude, I can't, I can't kid? respect you. He was uh, 18, I'm pretty sure, but oh. it wasn't, the reason everyone cut him off wasn't really the, any like, there was, was it, it wasn't like bad. Age dynamic or not it, age dynamic, uh, power dynamic. I got the victory royale. Honestly, it was just pathetic. I think more than anything, it was just like really pathetic to like. They canceled for being pathetic. Uh, yeah, and a lot of the girls that he talked to complained and said, like, he used them. <laughs> like, in pictures and sh um, That's what's up, I don't boys. think there was ever explicit groupings. Also, congrats. Sorry, I just had to interrupt Congrats on the big victory royale, Turkey Tom. We won. Wow. I'm gonna keep listening. Thank you for the goldfish. I have to piss real quick and empty my, empty my, okay, so my boy, my boy too, but I'll be back. Okay, so Yo. Yeah, when is he gone? Okay, he's gone. Now we can start leaking the Tom dirt, guys. Oh, thank f God, real. That guy this was is the so real weird the in show. LA, bro. I don't know what the f up with guy. him, but he's like, dude, he's deranged, he like sucked dude. everyone off at VidCon. He Con. literally this pushed the show, Aiden fuck. in the pool for no reason, dude. Okay, that did happen. <laughs> okay, there was a reason though, and it was really funny. Yeah, it was. I that wish was it was funny. recorded. I, out of everything there, I wish that was recorded because there was like such a buildup. <laughs> yeah, literally, what happened was Aiden. Like, there were no clean towels. And so Aiden was like, G give me a towel, guys. So Tom gave him a towel, and then he just shoved him in the pool. <laughs> yeah. But, like, before that, Aiden was, like, in the hot tub, and he was like, one of you guys give me a towel. Like, we were his slaves. So I dangled the towel in front of him and then, like, threw it on the ground and got it dirty, and he got pissed. And there was no clean towels. And then Tom's like, okay, I'll get it, and was being nice. And then he gave it to him and then just pushed him in the pool with it dude we were walking around vidcon and tom just pulled out a hammer and started smashing the faces of homeless people like this isn't even yeah. a joke dude someone needs to get this sick man off this platform deplatform him now report all his videos did you tell it false you dmca if you role. have to if you have to last resort <laughs> pull out the nukes i saw him on yeah. grinder when i was in la hey what's up nothing nothing we we're just talking about uh smp earth that was all yeah He's gone again. It's okay. over. He's gone. Whoa, chat. Okay, keep it secret, chat. Don't let him see. Yeah, stop back. leaking it, dude. What the f is your guys Why problem? are you leaking trade secrets? I'm gonna make a video on Turkey Tom, dude. The Turkey Tom degenerates, bro. <laughs> Loser creep. <laughs> no. Yeah. I think that's so annoying how people like use that as an own. Like, have you noticed that? No, it. I like that. It's like the. <laughs> it's such a great like. It's such a good like line. Just it's just a good motto. It, it's like now, yeah. now the losers, right. creeps, and guys is gonna bitch to us hmm. <laughs> Not to that the, creeps, just the idea of like turkey tom fans chanting like losers creep like that's like the best thing <laughs> ever. Like, it's like, that'd be awesome like, like like tom goes to creator clash and they all cheer him on and they're like losers creeps <laughs> yeah, when we were on when we were on biggest problem i kept saying losers creeps under my breath and like dick didn't get it because he doesn't watch my videos so <laughs> he just like he kept giving up. me a really weird face like i was and that was like really cool. <laughs> Tom, Tom, would you box me at Creator Clash, hypothetically? You? Dude, you would yeah. get destroyed. How, <laughs> like, not you, Tom. Chip. How, how tall are no, you? No, but what if I got really uh, six foot one? Guys, uh, you yeah, guys, I'd box you, sure. Nobody here knows, but Chip has like, is like a skeleton physique. Like, yeah, yeah. It's like, like kind of cool, too. but like, it's like straight up, like, I, you just like, you can't gain weight. Like you have like I'm the most insane walker. like metabolism of all time. Are you aware? Dude, are you are you aware my, that I, I'm? I had my wisdom teeth out. How much do you weigh? I got it put on a steroid. Oh, uh, like 145. Oh, super skinny. I'm I'm 180. I, I, but I, <laughs> and I'm not yeah, like fat either. Me. I'm not fat either. I work out, yeah. so I would listen. I will destroy you in the ring. But let's do it. Let's let's. I accept that. Creator clash. Okay, deal, deal. It'd be like a, a super mega guy versus the dad, where he just got like. Like the shit beat out of him. <laughs> That'd be so yeah. base. Uh, no, but I got I got wisdom teeth surgery recently, and I, they put me on a steroid, right? And for like two weeks straight, I ate like five thousand calories a day, and I've gained twenty pounds 
from that. Like, so you were one twenty before. Like me. Uh, I was one forty five three weeks ago when I weighed myself. Oh. So, dude, Michael McShill was not joking when he said he'd like beat the shit out of you. He'd like knock no, the shit no, out no, of you, dude. My, Michael McShill, Michael McShill could have literally like grabbed my arm, snapped it in half, like <laughs> with a gigantic bear hand. We need this like, fight, fuck. Michael McShill. We officially consent to you beating up Chipple Dipple. We will not. Um, I'll, I'll we will not call you out. Yeah, for it. I'll do. It. I might use some sneaky tactics though. I could still get a win. You don't know. What What are your sneaky tactics? Let's just say Pocket that. Uh, well, it involves my hand and something. McDonald's. Else. Let's just say that I got a little poop up my sleeve. What are you? Ew. <laughs> oh, no, not again. Dude, Michael McChill will be the shit out of you, and then I'll come in at the last second after he's like, I've defeated Chipple Dipple, and I'll be like, but you haven't defeated me. <laughs> and then it'll be like, you know, uh, X Gonna Give It To You by DMX, that song will play, yeah. and it will play me like bashing his head into the floor as like blood splurts, and I'll be like, loser screams, f***ing <laughs> loser screams. It's like eyes are falling out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, his eyes will be falling out, and they'll like they'll still be attached though by that little like stringy thing they always show in like yeah. movies and regular show and shit. Would that you be like take his heart cool? out and chew it and like bite it? Like, yeah, so I'll gnaw on it like a dog on a bone or whatever. <laughs> Would that be cool? Will you be there? Yeah. Uh, funny, funny SMP Earth, dra SMP Earth drama thing I remembered. One time Michael McChill was in a call with me and he was uh, yelling at me about something before we made that stream. And he was mad at me because this is when I made like the trans Minecraft V tweet. And he's like, You need to f stop being such a fucking chud. And I was like, <laughs> And I was Yo. like, and I told him. <laughs> I told them, I specifically was like, dude, like, I don't hate trans people. I just think the trans Minecraft feat is annoying. And he's like, I don't f***ing care what you think about trans. He said, then he said like the T word. I'm not going to say it on stream because I don't want you to be suspended. But he like slipped up for a second and said he it. He did? I'm like, whoa. Wait, what? he said about like, like T slurs? He said that? Yeah, he said that he said like, he said like, I don't, he said like, I, don't, I know you don't care about Bro. the T words. And then I went, what? Oh. And he said, you said it. You said it. And I'm like, what? And he's like, you said it. And I'm like, what? Dude, it, and then he's he like, never responded he to the video. He insisting that I was the one that said it. He never responded to the Chipple Dipple redemption. No, he, okay, okay. Here's, here's, a, here's something sure that's funny. From the, well. So he has a stream response. So in that, in that video where he's calling out Chip, he says, remember, swing at me and I'll swing back at you. That was from, that was a reference to that call, I remember, because you called me right after. You like were frantically messaging. And I remember he, you said that, he he threatened to beat you up. He was like, and then he referenced it in his call out. He's like, if you remember, if you swing at me, you'll see how hard you get knocked down. Like he, yeah. he straight like up said that twice. Year old. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm like, oh cool. Anyway, like, you're so gonna study for math. Dude, we just yeah. just jumped at like 300 viewers. What happened? Thank you, C dollar for five says the optic the optic nerve. Holy raw. Oh, I think a uh, soy jack party just came in. They're just chilling. That's okay. Don't worry about it. I want to do a video That's about okay. them. They're, the history of that site is super interesting. Like the guy who made it and all this sh Uh, Kuz? Or no, Kuz didn't make it. Um, what's his face did? Uh, God, I can't remember. There's like name. a Russian paramilitary guy that was like involved in the starting of the site. That's... Kuz think I, right? Kuz? Kuz? I think so. Yeah. He's a, he has a very interesting history. He's ran dozens and dozens of image boards that I've used and it's like... His, been all over the place. I think he has AIDS and is dying. I don't know if that's like a bit, but that sounds like it's something you would joke about. Like, oh, that guy, mm, he has AIDS and is dying. Everyone was talking about it. He apparently like made a statement about stepping down, and there's a new owner, and he said it was because he had AIDS and was dying. And yeah. I don't know if that's like a bit or not. That sucks. I hope I he doesn't know. die from AIDS or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That would that would be. Doggo Mando say. says Tom is the Pipka game still happening, bro? Ask Chip. Um, no, it's it's not <laughs> happening. I think I think how much would we have to get bombs into my house? To finish that game? Do not uh, give Chip money, okay? I'm yeah, sorry, but that money. game is not going to be done if, if you give tell him you money. What, I'll I'll crowdfund money and you get it if you finish the game. <laughs> I'll spend the money on weed and like jerk off and never finish it. But you can get it <laughs> after you have the, the the thing is you only get the money if you finish the game. God, it would be okay, but you have to keep in mind like. Uh, I, I think people would send bombs in my house, genuinely. I think someone would firebomb my house. Well, the question is how much money is worth getting your house firebombed? I'm going to sound like a greedy asshole if I say it, because I don't actually want money, but it, it would need to be, like, in the thousands for the amount of, like, labor involved and, like, like having to deal with potentially... Okay. If I, if, I, if I okay. give you... You're sorry, mother... You were doing this for free, like three months if ago. If I give you five, just, if I give you say the context has changed, I'll just say tell you what. Much. If you finish it and it's an actual playable game, I'll give you three thousand dollars. Oh, that's a compelling offer. Three grand. Uh, hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, but it, I'd have to wait. Is the thing. I'd have to wait. We have to wait for mother. Okay, but you have to fill out. A, uh, you have to fill out a form that says your social security number and address, and give that to me for tax purposes. Okay, deal. 
I'd have to wait until I move out first because I am. Already bro, that literally, literally you just. Out. I just heard you say it's not happening, bro. You, I fucking hate no, you. No, 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 <laughs> dude. I'm moving out on Wednesday. Dude, one so time, like... one time, I was like, "Hey, bro, okay, this is something actually happened. This is funny. I'm not like mad about it anymore, but like it is funny." One time I messaged you and I was like trying to get you to help me set up a Minecraft server and you were like, oh yeah, and you were like, oh yeah, I can do it in like a bit. I'm like traveling Europe right now. And then I like talked to Bernie about it and he was like, he's not like not doing anything. He just like lied to you because he's like lazy. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, dude, this is happening several traveling times. Traveling Europe? One, one yeah. time Chip, dude, one time Chip took commissions and um, we straight oh up God. like he oh didn't do it. So me and this other friend of his decided that we would just do it for him and we just ended up just drawing in his style and then like sending it to him. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, okay. Wait, so were you like never, you never even out, traveling dude. Europe? You told me you were like, oh, I'm traveling like in Germany or something and I can't do it. That's what you told yeah. me. What, what year was this? Cause yeah, I mean, I was, I think this was, I must've been in Colorado. It I don't was know like if I said two I was or three. You said Europe. I vividly remember Europe. I would not have told you that I was in Europe if I wasn't in Europe. <laughs> Why? Well, you I'm did. So I guess you lied, bro. <laughs> that's such a that's such an easily disprovable lie, though, because I knew you talked to Bernie. I'm not gonna say that I was in Europe. And like, stupid. Dude, Michael McShill was right about you, bro. Such a liar, dude. Such a Weasley little liar, dude. This is the problem, guys. We make the chip defense video, and then he doesn't finish the Pipka game, which is like the only purpose of defending him. We. Look, we, save, late, okay. we save his life, and then he spits in our face. I, I'm no longer a lazy asshole. This is more of a matter of, like, not wanting to get, like, my parents' house blown up but by, like, are like militias. Principle. But now you're a furry. Uh, well, I joined the dark side because I'm infiltrating them from the inside, actually. That is a cope. That's that a cope. Not, no, you're just, dude, no, people drew you a cope. fursona. Guys, uh, why, like, I don't even know why that matters, though. I don't guys. like dog why does it even penis? matter? So why does deal? it matter? Are you kidding? Why does it matter? I don't like dog penis. It's a, so it's a, it's a question. Furry sock. Yes. They, yeah, well, they're I, just I, I agree. Dude. No, I agree. But I like, agree. I you should like, you should stand up for, you should stand up for all the furries, dude. Sonic fans have also gotten a rap, bro. And you're not Sonic a bad person. Sonic is not furry, dude. See, dollar yeah, for five says. Sonic fans, no. dude. Once people hated Sonic fans as much as they hated furries. C Dollar says, do you like my they new should. raw self, new June on the 27th, <laughs> new me, as they say. Okay, Sonic fans are misrepresented. Furries are all evil and need to be, like, put in a Chinese labor camp. I think Dude, I saw this video about, like... are overwhelmingly terrible. That's my opinion. I saw a video about, like, a Sonic fan who, like, his plushie for, like, 10 years or something. Oh, that was about, that was about Josh, yeah. I mean... That was about me. <laughs> that's what he was doing before Twitter nah, versus, dude. like... Yeah, yeah. What else was he that's gonna do? That's what I was doing. Yeah, I mean... Of course. Uh, yeah, one like, of those, dude, one of those Twitch streamers is probably like a plush degenerate, dude. We need to like find out. We need to slowly figure out who in the, the percentage, <laughs> dude. There has to be Just one. Call me Carson, dude. He that's, that's, that's what No Hugbert was too scared to talk about. Do you think, about. you know how there's like makeshift plushes and YouTube plushes of YouTubers? Do you think like people yeah. buy them and like them, like turn them in the I think Jay Lynn puts like, them turkey inside doll. of their ass, bro. Like Turkey Tom. Like, on makeshift. I definitely think Jalen like pleasures herself with like the Call Me Carson U2s. Oh, for sure. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. For sure. Everyone uh, knows that. There was a point where I was so close to getting a U2s limited run, like so f***ing close, like dastardly close. I'm getting one right now. They like one of the really? Design. Yeah. Dead? They sent me a design or whatever. I'll also, come all over it, dude. That's cool. Just like, can you just like meme no, it so joking. people buy it or something? Can we artificially meme this so it like gets bought? No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna like use AI to like, Photoshop an image of you and like like of, of it like covered in beans and shit, post it. That sounds cool. Oh great English. Great. Caleb. Yeah, I wonder who that is. I wonder who that fucking Friday Night Funkin. You don't Caleb know who that is, is, Tom, but that's the most dangerous man in this yeah. community. <laughs> what that fucking profile pic? Yeah. English yes. Caleb. Yeah. He says Chip yes. killed home. I miss my home. It is gone. This guy's retarded. Five bucks. Thanks for the five dollars. No, he. That's cool. He, he, he's genuinely a f***ing pal. What? Okay. Full stop. But he gave Full you five dollars. Are you trolling? You, no. You have no money, dude? Yes. Can he give me more money? Dude, who do you think was funding the game, bro, this whole okay, time? Okay, if you're a p you gotta send at least twenty dollars. How do you know him? Yeah, how do you know Let's all just, these yeah, how, do you, bro? how do you know him, buddy? <laughs> how do you know him, Bernie? <laughs> I don't, I'd have no idea who this is. You know what? I don't know who this is. Right. Okay. Let's just You say, literally uh, need to explain the lore. Like, this guy came in, you say he's the worst person ever, you say he's a 
Yeah, you're like, you gives me five dollars. I didn't say he was a p***o. That was- Chip did. But now oh, I need wait, some kind of no, explanation. Wait. Chip wait. never lies. Oh, wait, okay. Yeah, he's not a pile. He's like a rapist, I think. What do you mean you uh, think, okay. mother or What does that mean? Well, that's a little better. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's- it's just- it's whatever. It's whatever. When I said evil, I was thinking like- like, he swatted someone. I wasn't thinking of- <laughs> <laughs> He's a f***ing criminal rizzer. No, I'm joking. He's not. The worst criminal thing he does is ask girls for DoorDash money. Oh, that's him? That's the guy that's like the from worst your server? He does. Yeah. You just called him like a I know who that is, Chip, yeah. He calls the me a doesn't know who that is. Oh. Is that- Okay. No, Two wrongs no, don't make a right. English Caleb. Yeah, they do, dude. <laughs> yeah, they actually do. English Caleb, we're about to, you know, this is the the leak stream. We're gonna leak everything about you, Caleb. Okay, okay? Send me more so money watch out, like, dude. That's your only. We're problems. gonna leak all the horrible allegations against you. We know about Friday Night Funkin', dude. Okay. You know dude. I've played Stop the you're game. Saying too much. <laughs> we know about Friday Night Funkin'. What? What do you do to Friday Night Funkin'? No. Nothing. You just hate okay, let's change the topic. <laughs> no, what do you I'm mean no? About the next mischief, dude? People call him- White Beans just said he's the next mischief. I asked a question, you said- I asked a question, you said no? No. <laughs> what? Dude, you can't answer no hey, to a question. Hey, love. Yes, I can. <laughs> well, I'm gonna push you on stream, so... What's the deal with Friday Night Funkin' and English Caleb? Um, he thinks it's annoying. No, 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 no. There's something else. Bedhead Bernie, you're typing to Chip right now. Weird. Tell me what you're typing to him. That's a little. I'm lit. not. I'm drinking this old Starbucks. Bernie frappe. just said, "Shut your mouth okay. if you know what's good you for you." You say frappe, bro. Is it what? What is it? I'll let you move How on. Just for the, it's. I think just for like frap. Is it a frap? They say frappuccino. No, it's frappe. There's a f little italic on the e. It's frappe. Dude, who the f says frappe? Okay. No, not frappe. 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 If you, say, if you say if you say frappe, frappe. or frappe, you are a pet. It's, a f it's like a French word. It's like a French word. More evidence in my it favor. Like a, you say frappe? boogers, Tom. It's frappe. That's yeah, you true. Say I, do, I do say that. And you eat your boogers too. I've seen you on stream, well, bro. They taste really good, yeah, and they're dude. salty, and they're full of nutritious, delicious stuff. So what the f am I supposed <laughs> to do? Wait, just wait like, oh, didn't you us. criticize Nick Fuentes for that hypocrite? Dude, I, I wow. sympathize with Wait, that, yeah, that. dude, you're- why do you even have a- you're such a hypocrite, dude. I yeah, sympathize- I- a hypocrite. I empathize Hypocrisy with him. of Turkey Tom. I empathize with You literally with have, like, burgers. dude, you have no principles whatsoever. You'll say one thing, yep. and then off stream, you'll do the exact same thing. Like, if you're willing to call someone out for eating boogers, and you'll do it off stream, what else are you calling people out for that you're also mm -hmm. doing off stream? Uh, I'm making a tweet right now. Wow, so the guy who literally eats his own boogers is now- the losers, creeps, and- Guy that literally eats his own boogers is gonna rant to us now. Okay, never mind, Chief. Can you please tweet Tweeting that? Right now, Can you dude. please, for real? Please just creeps sure. and boogers. Dude. I want to. I want to post more about the like Turkey Tom and Chipple Dipple drama. I want it to like become real. Yeah, and be like, at least dude. I didn't send my poo to kids. One time, me and <laughs> Chip like me and Chip orchestrated like a fake drama on Twitter between like him and like like this channel that I have with my friends that was called Four Men. And people thought it was real, and we got like like a shit ton of like angry DMs from like people like telling like you need to kill yourself. Like it was like like a hundred of them. It was so fucking stupid. You made like a fake call out exposed video, I think. Right? Yeah, it was like we had it was a fake back and forth. We were calling each other out. I think I was calling you out for being racist or something. It was so stupid. Mino so Sabe for fun. five says too mad the Kanye of YouTube. I mean. Dude. Yeah, I guess that's a good comparison. Me and Chip Honestly, could yeah. unironically uh, make a fake Twitter beef and have people believe it. Considering... It wouldn't be fake now because you just said it out loud. Yeah, bro. Oh, the Twitter doesn't care, what dude. The f I well, died no, in the well no one. No, okay, no one watches Tom Dark. Let's be real. Come on. Wow. Or the streams. True. That's real. Honestly. Yeah. None of you guys, you guys, will, all you guys will keep it quiet. T -t -t Twitter people are stupid. You can li like, literally do anything on Twitter. Yeah, like, literally. Like, like, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Get Just repeat the lie then... enough, and then it'll become true, guys. That's the number one advice for Twitter. Just start yeah, lying they, about it. They, they can no, play literally. along, dude. Uh, Ghetto Smosh has been replying to my tweets, just like saying like vaguely mean things, but like we're friends, so it's like we're like joking. He like replied and said like I posted like a picture from or a video of a game I was working on, and he said um, oh god, what did he say? They're about to own you, bro. Let me look real quick. I have it pulled up. Yeah, he said he said specifically he said hey dumb, where's the background? You can't have a game without a background, you stupid dumb. And it's like so obviously a joke. And you whooped your 
he dude. he completely like ratioed me and everyone in the replies. Uh, I've gotten like at least twenty DMs saying like, "Dude, what's your beef with Ghetto Smash?" <laughs> like, That's awesome. Yeah, did you guys? Because he just like destroyed two men. Like all of the literally the only reason like this snowball started was because he was beefing with Ghetto Smosh. Yeah. You don't like, want to go up. You don't really want to go up against their Ohio Riz, bro. Okay. The pe people are saying like it was like searching Ghetto Smosh. People saying now Ghetto Smosh has beef with Chipple Dipple. Oh, here we go. It's like. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> oh, here over we go three. again. Um, and Preston H is, I really looked into the, that Dinesh guy. Dude literally can't sweep for a living. I don't know who that is. That, Dinesh, that Dinesh guy. That Dinesh guy. Is he Indian? I want more Earth S&P dirt is what someone says. I don't this? know if there's, there is more, but it's like a lot of that stuff is it's very complicated. Um, compli so yeah. complicated. You have to go through the whole history. Doesn't look like anyone watches that Dinesh guy's channel. Oh my God. There was one thing that was funny. Um, one time, so me and my friends, we joined that server to troll, but like the, we didn't do anything because everyone stopped playing. But one of the things we did was in a call, I like goaded my friend to make some like really, sh it was like the, like the, sh it was supposed to be like ironic. It was just a sh it's like joke about Endermen. It's like, why do Endermen steal things? Like, you know, like that stupid sh And we actually got like a dressing down after about it. <laughs> Cause like, from like, I think, I don't forget who it was, but it was from like one of the last streamers on there who still had an audience. And he was like, yeah, we're sick of like the racism showing up in the in-game chat. And it's just like, bro, like, it's like the only time this has happened. They, they, they hate it. They were mad about that, but they didn't care when we built like a whole, like we rebuilt the temple of Notch in that server. It was really weird. It's bizarre. <laughs> there was so much stupid bullshit in that server. I'm so bad um, at this game. The big, the big conspiracy that would be worth making a video over is that the server was essentially stolen from me. I guess practically stolen from me by a third party hosting company that ran the server. The admins essentially committed a hostile takeover of the server to monetize it. Uh, despite the fact I was the owner, like, and I like created is everything. Is the server basically. even like, is it around anymore? Or? No. So SMP Earth was a private SMP. Um, but the issue with that is that Minecraft servers suck. Like they're very expensive to run because the game's just so unoptimized. So you need really good hardware. You need like a dedicated uh. piece of hardware. Uh, I didn't have any money. I was, you know, 17 in high school. So uh, I got Wilbur to, uh, to help me and Wilbur's like, hey, I have a mod for my chat that knows like a hosting company. And I approached this mod and he's like, yeah, I can hook you up. So we got this hosting company. We did a partnership where I would like include them in the promotional materials. They brought to you by, you know, blah, 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 company name here. And that was pretty much it. And they would pay for it and everything. Um, but the, not only did they suck at everything, they were completely incompetent. I knew how to, I knew more about server hosting than they did. Um, they would terrible at criticism. The CEO was just miserable to work with. Uh, the server would crash during crucial events. And when I started really getting mad about it, I was very respectful and nice. I was, I'd be like, hey, uh, the server hardware you gave us, it's really not cutting the jib. I will straight up pay for a CPU at this point if you can just hook us up with a proper rig now. I don't want to back out of our sponsorship, but I, I want to make this work. And he said, if you uh, so much as like... <clears throat> talk about anything like this is going to become a legal issue you need to like really? keep it straight and it, like it was like threatening me and basically it got to the point to where the server was constantly crashing and i was forced against my will to take the blame for it on several times like there was at one point where the dipshit ceo got on paying, and was like, trying to fix was this, something was this company being paid at all to do this or were they i paid out of my pocket dude i paid out was of my it pocket expensive? for it was a couple hundred which like a month was a lot for me at the time yeah yeah yeah, yeah. uh so but regardless, it was a sponsorship. So it was like supposed to be free to begin with. It was like bullshit. And we pay, uh, so basically at one point, uh, during a crucial event when peak hours, uh, the owner, the CEO was like, I was like complaining, I'm like, hey, it's not working right now. People are getting kicked. It's like really laggy. And he's like, oh, I'll fix it. And he deletes all of the data from the server instantly. And I had to spend five days recovering it. And I dropped out of high school. <laughs> And do it like I literally failed all my finals and flunked high school because I was like so involved in this and I had to sit there and do manual data recovery and I was only able to recover half of it and then when that was all well and done and it killed all the momentum I had to take the blame for it I was he threatened me into taking the blame for it basically so I had to come out and make an announcement saying I deleted all the server data on accident so then a week later a week later he deleted it all on accident again like a second time and at that point that's when I like 
shortly after I quit the project. And I'm like, I can't do this anymore. I'm being held hostage. And then they took over the server, monetized everything, made a public server that was pay to win, uh, sold merch. Uh, That's crazy. Play, took credit for like all my ideas, blocked me on Twitter, uh, and then the, took over the official account and disavowed me. It was like, it was a f***ing nightmare. That's crazy. Damn. Yeah, it was terrible. That'd be great. This is why the video needs to happen. Zeba Nitro says, just, I'm your biggest fan. Why do you call me gay, Tom? I can't remember, bro. Just something about your name just came to came to mind as that. But I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing. You could be a nice guy. <laughs> something just in when I heard the name Zeba oh. Nitro, I think you got shouted out in a Zaptie video a long time ago because he thought your that boy edit was funny or something. And that struck me and that came to mind. It, it, it permeated. It swirled around a bit. I thought about it and I said, is that guy gay? I'm sorry. That's just what happened. Um, yeah, that'd be amazing, an amazing video though. See, this is this is the content. I just don't have proof. Like, like. Yeah, I mean, it's I, hard to. We could, a lot like, of this stuff happened in VCs and stuff. I was too stupid to record. I mean, that's issue. true, but we could. I guess we could just like reconstruct videos, like stuff. It's not an expose at the end of the day. It's more just telling the story. If there's any documentation yeah, I was, at all, like. I was under like direct threat of like, legal ramifications if I came out against it, which yeah. I was like. Really Especially as like about. a teenager, it's like. Yeah. They knew that they could just kind of scare you into. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm more smart about how like libel. Or is it libel or what's the other one? Uh, is it libel slander is spoken, li and written is slander? Libel. Yeah, yeah. I was more concerned about like that at the time, but now these days, I, I kind of know how to like navigate that. You just put allegedly in front of everything. <laughs> if it's true, it's not slander. Yeah. Well, the issue is they can take you to court and then prove it and try to prove it in court, but no, I don't think they do that. Yeah, but they'll, they'll, they'll look recorded. Yeah, they look to it's a total waste of time. They gain nothing from doing it. I don't even know if their company exists anymore. It might not. I, I have to check. I didn't even know this recently, but I was, uh, I'm doing a video about, like, hated comedians. Um, so I just found this out. Brendan Schaub tried to, like, sue someone that made fun of him after... So basically, there's this podcast called the Happy Hour Podcast, and this comedian, this female comedian, went on and said that Brennan Schaub had like tried. You guys know who that guy is, right? The, like comedian, yeah. MMA dude. Yeah, you probably vaguely know. Okay, so she claimed that he had. Uh, she didn't say who it was, but she was like this male comedian who everyone thinks is unfunny and is bad at comedy, tried to walk me to my truck, meaning like tried to like me. Okay. And so she said that, and then people put together like, okay, it must be Brennan Schaub because he's got this huge like hater base or whatever, right? And so then this channel called Uniqueness made like a video about it, like talking about it. He like copyright struck them, and then he tried to sue them. And that guy, Uniqueness, he starts to go fund me for it to be like, hey guys, like if you want to like support me because I'm being sued by Brennan Schaub, like donate. He doesn't reach the funding goal, and so it looks like it's over, and then Brennan Schaub's case is so laughable, gets thrown out in court. Isn't that crazy? It's like awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of cases like that. Not owned, dude. Is Billy Mitchell owned forever now, or is he still going crazy? Yes, he is. it's over. Can I do the video? Because I recorded a video about it, and then I like backed off because I thought he might sue me. Um, pretty sure it's just. I don't think he was. Does he dismissed with prejudice? I'm pretty sure it's like he's proven. He's he's dealing with um the the Twin Galaxies lawsuit. Yeah, I think still. So he's kind of pressed for. I think he's pressed for cash. He's had like all of like half of his lawsuits against Carl Jobs like thrown out. So okay, that's good. That is promising. I just don't want to deal like financially. I guess I could handle a lawsuit if I had to, but like I don't want to. Like that sucks. Yeah. But it's the pain. It's a. It's you pay for it. Like when it comes to money, what you don't. What a lot of people don't consider is you're not just paying for the legal fees. You're also paying, paying for, for the time, time you lose. Yeah. Like you. You there. I don't think most it people realize how much time it takes. Yeah, it lawsuits it's very are fucking time consuming. And it's just it's insane. It's they like, can drag out for years too. And it's like opportunity costs from like not getting to like just do shit during that time. Like it sucks. Yep, you you lose you can lose tens of thousands, if not more, depending on who you are. Like it, it's really. Yeah, it sucks. And that's if you win. <laughs> Turn off face camera and unsubscribing, bro. You might just have to unsubscribe. I'm sorry, bro. You got to look at me. I mean, you can just turn off the camera or whatever, but... Put a <sighs> sticky note on your screen. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> What's like, is anyone yeah, really um, watching the stream anyway? I feel like most people listen. I don't watch streams. I'm watching it. I'm watching it like... It's, 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 but you're also I talking to me, Fortnite. so you, there's something else going on anyway. Uh, that's true. So it's like, for the average person, like, I wouldn't I wouldn't watch... Dude, why, yeah, why is, why is the chest so mean? They're like, calm, do we really need to see your face? I mean, yeah, it's like normal a streamers do this. It's, this is like a normal streamer I, thing. I kind of like that they're mean. If they were gassing me up all the time, I'd have like an inflated sense of self, and then I'd end up like one of these like SMP Bro, guys. I f 
I agree yeah. so hard. That that always made me sick with that whole Minecraft community. Is like the to- it's like toxic positivity where they will suck the living foreskin off of everyone they like until the day they die but then the second the smallest thing comes out it's like cannibalism it's it's terrible I, i'd much want. rather prefer to have an audience that it's an audience they, that makes fun of me regularly and pe- keeps me down a peg. my, my audience like model of everything my <laughs> audience is at odds with me like a tom like the top comment on like every tom dark video is like tom the type of guy too and then something embarrassing about that I don't do but it's like I kind of like that because it means like when there is like an actual criticism against me like people will be relatively fair I think like about it you know yeah I mean? yeah which is, exactly which is good they won't be devastated too because like the issue with having a really toxically positive fan base is like the second that any tiny thing even if it's in like a little tiny allegation or someone just makes something up about you people just have this insane knee-jerk reaction where it's not they panic it's not horribly and, parasocial uh-huh. yeah yeah, but I also don't really have that kind of audience anyway, because it's like those people Good. blow up off their personality, and my content is more like—I mean, my personality is on the second channel a bit, but it's mostly just like information. Shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, that's yeah. what I was kind of worried about when you made the video on me, because I was like, I was like, oh man, this is pretty like fair and well researched. I hope that I hope that, I was really worried that people on Twitter were gonna universally, and just people on the internet were gonna universally just discredit it, being like, mm, isn't Turkey Tom a Chad? And he's I mean, talking about I mean, some Chad. the thing is, some people did. But, like, I just yeah. have a big enough audience that, like, the contents of the video are undeniable. Like, they're just going to take away exactly. what actually happened. Exactly. <clears throat> oh. It's, it's, it's so good that you're not, like, women. completely based on personality. You have, like, that information aspect to it. And that's why, like, I think... Well, the thing about all those people, too, is, like, they made, they made their tweets, but, like, like, nothing happened. Like, I just ignored it. I just, like, deleted <laughs> all my tweets, and then I just, like, ignored <laughs> them for, like, a day. I was at, like, Bush yeah. Gardens when that was going on. And I was just, like, getting on roller coasters with my girlfriend. <laughs> And like my hat those, like, they were in those, their beds they were in their beds those, really angrily those twitter artists they're some of the most emotionally manipulative piece of shit motherfuckers ever they're so fucking two-faced and fake especially the ones who their whole thing is about positivity those oh, motherfuckers God. are so fucking True. vicious when they feel like they have a vindictive moral reason to go after someone and oftentimes it's invented it's completely arbitrary and like you you think you look at that and then when it comes to their friends they overlook like the same shit if not worse, like is there any other thing worse than the Twitter art community? The thing no. about that, Bernie, no. like they're so bad. The thing about that, like, Bernie, is, worse. Is, is you're very right. But uh, and a lot of people will be like, oh, when will karma get these people? But the thing is, like, karma already has because all they have is Twitter art, and that's like no, it. exactly. All they have is art well, Twitter. They, like, they like, the, like they, all of them are like broke losers who like their entire life revolves around like this. <laughs> community like oh and, and drawing themselves over and over again and taking commissions that they take nine months to work on and they get like ten dollars like, <laughs> for it and, yeah. and, and, and that's it that, it sucks the i like a lot of their of life guys sucks. art some of them some of their art is really but some of them are really great artists but it sucks yeah. because they're all in these in little friend groups where they're all closed off and they all jerk each other off and it's like they and they all protect each, each other, other off. <laughs> they all follow the same they literally jerk each other off and they're all following like the same like basic like oh well this person they're a piece of shit, so everyone call them out as a piece of shit. <clears throat> they have so annoying like this is one of the, the sense of justice is so let me, let me think let me think of like stuff that i don't there's probably most of these probably, probably i probably just said some of this stuff on streams before um during the whole John Bob stuff before that community, um, before John Bob was outed, they had like a community secret server where they had like a blacklist of people, of artists that like you weren't allowed to talk to if you're in that friend group. And they were oh just talk all of them and watch their Twitters yep. in there. It That's was so, so ridiculous. <laughs> so they mentally the- unhealthy too, like just going and having horrible. a group horrible. of people that you these, just um, These people complain constantly. about the commentary... These people complain about the commentary community, by the way, like all the time. No, and of the commentary they do. community yeah. is a. Trust me, I know. It's, I know. It's, it's a, <laughs> the commentary community is like oh, the Garden of God. Eden compared to the Twitter artist community. The people yeah, in the, it, the commentary, the worst of the commentary community, seems like saints among men compared to the best of the artist. That's community. true. It's the awful. thing. The thing true. is, like, I can't cap and say that like the whole commentary community is like cool because like there's a lot of people and, oh like, yeah people constantly yeah. come and go the thing is though like uh that i will say and like this seems obvious to say mm-hmm. and like kind of cringe to say but whatever like there's no like pretension about it there's no like lying about the positivity like exactly people who are here acknowledge that they're here for the 
talk, for the banter, mm-hmm. for the blood sports. Yep. And like they, they also try to pretend to be something they're not. True. And most of them also don't gain anything from it openly. And like that's just how it is. Whereas like exactly. a lot of other communities have the same level of toxicity, but they also like pretend to frown upon it when it happens. And exactly. While engaging Tw- in it. Which Twitter sucks. artists have this horrible sense of nepotism. It's it's just like they all they support their own, they stick by their own. And they just, masquerade hating people that they find like annoying or just mildly like, you know, you have a different vibe than me. The vibe is off with this person. Well, the thing is, and like, just fucking their whole sense go of for belonging comes from like Twitter and like that's it. Like in real life, these people yeah. are like, I remember when that video came out, a bunch of people were like, if I saw Turkey Tom in real life, I would simply beat him up. And it's like, dude, if I saw, if you saw me in real life, you'd <laughs> right. piss your pants, okay? You'd, you'd pee yourself and <laughs> into your diaper okay you people uh, you, just, i wouldn't even dream of what these people look like in person um oh god literally like the meme of the dyed hair like emaciated vegan sjw like i wouldn't even dream of what they look like no yeah it's it's really just ter- terrible toxic f- narcissistic too just insanely narcissistic like oh man everyone loves me because i draw my character over and over again 20 million times and i'm like oh it's so awesome you're like sonic oh, fan character with big boobs that like, yeah, yeah, exactly. droop, like that are like really droopy or whatever <laughs> Yeah. Make something. They're not. They don't want to make so something respect? because because the the Twitter artists like like the whole idea of posting solely to Twitter and that's like your whole thing is like you're building a platform off like drawing like memes, drawing fan art. It's like it's fine. It's cool. It's a hobby. But if that's your only intent, you're like kind of missing. I think like they, if you don't have a grander scope, you're not expressing like an actual facet of yourself. It's not. Like the whole point of I feel like art is communication and you're just communicating you like something or you think something is cool or relatable or funny. But like <clears throat> I don't know, why can't you channel it that energy into like making comics? Why can't you channel the energy into like making personal art? But beyond that, why does it have yeah. to be like Puss in Boots fan art? Like why does it have to be only like furries with big fat asses and like big boobs? It's like can it can't you do something can't you channel that talent that into something else it's like <clears throat> but it, it it's a, the epitome of like the commodification of, of mm. art where it's completely centric Consumers. on on what will get the most likes in the moment and, and i don't know i can't blame them necessarily for it but a lot of them then get the huge inflated ego and yep, they, they yeah. build the audience and they all crowd together and that's why you have like the whole twitter art community that's like it's basically exactly. just it is just the one biggest big circle jerk ever. Friend. That's and, true, and the, but the, also the, the thing about it is for you guys, like you, you experience it. I didn't mean to cut you off, Trevor. That you guys experience it negatively because no, no, you're like okay. you're a part of it. As someone on the outside, like I made my video, they whined for like two days, and then they just like like that was it. That's true. Like like I just they I don't have in, power outside of their so, own little circle. Thankfully, I I've been in so many different communities though, like from the you know Minecraft YouTube community, Twitch streaming community. I've been in the worst image board communities there is. And nothing tops the Twitter art community in just terms of just the quality of people. Like it consistently attracts narcissists, nothing people that have absolutely nothing going on in their heads other than like either coming or <laughs> drawing themselves. Dude, one of them, yeah. sucks. Dude, those John, Bob, those John Bob yeah. friends are so funny. They used to have a podcast with Dude. them. And I remember one of them has the funniest quote. I don't want to name which one it was because, you know, I, uh. this is probably going to this is my people just think it's gonna get clipped. I do, doubt it, but it it's just not even worth it because it's like an old <sighs> podcast. But it was the most annoying thing. You can find it. There's a re-upload of it. But they were like, my biggest character flaw is um I'm too nice to people. I trust people too much. And it's like oh. the most narcissistic thing you could say. That's something you say in a job interview to my make them hire. Character character flaw is says. that my penis is 12 inches and I'm six foot three. <laughs> yeah, and like and everyone <laughs> loves me. And everyone likes and me. Like, <laughs> Like the I'm the real awesome. questions, like people, there there are definitely critiques to have with the video. If if I made it today, uh, the John Bob one, I, it wouldn't be the same as it was back then, just because I was kind of like an idiot, and I think I was, I think it was like <laughs> just turned eighteen. But one of the biggest questions that people should ask is, so John Bob's entire model for growing on social media was that he was befriending all these big Twitter artists and then including them into their platform and then growing alongside with them. Mm-hmm. That is inherently a model that encourages artists to befriend him and like become basically subservient to him and his platform. He was putting himself in the center of this. So Same why with dream. none so why did none of the not safe for work artists, why did none of the art actually none of the adult artists, any artist who was an adult in that community 
think it was questionable when he's tweeting from his private account about how he wants to f fans and then he's talking with people who aren't of age and he's talking to people like that it this itself is setting that up how did no one notice there's something wrong with this they enabled and then you him think, they enabled they it. did enable it and then you think what happened after the video you think some of these people were trying to they were like running disinfo against my video they were like claiming that like there's misinformation in it they didn't watch it i i know for mm -hmm. a fact they've admitted to people they didn't watch it at the time but like when they were writing call out posts about it and then well, some Bernie, of them were straight up be still reminded. Yeah, they didn't want to be reminded, <laughs> even though some of them were still talking to John Bob behind the scenes, and people knew that. Their friends knew that. So, okay, like, really? Like, as long as they the it from him. What's wrong you know, here? Like, what's wrong up, with you people? They wanted to keep it going as long as possible. Let him do his own thing. You know, a few minors. It's fine, right? As long as the flows keep coming in, the retweets keep coming in. The thing is, we can look past the, that. The, the thing the is, the second about it goes that, public, that's when they unfriend him and they stop talking. We've to him. experienced a lot of that stuff behind the scenes too, Bernie. Like just with YouTube type people. And the thing about that that I've learned that um, just for like self preservation as a content creator, like this doesn't totally apply to everyone in this call, but I, like for Bolax it does, and you know for Bernie it does, and I mean Ship, if you plan on keeping making like kind of stuff and just self preservation sure. online in general, I found that you don't want to make. Uh, content whether it's like art or whatever like videos or like anything you don't want to make it for like a kind of person or like a community of people you just want to make yeah. whatever you're feeling at the time and like have some level of variety because the problem with like appealing to one kind of person is that if you if you're like an independent thinker unlike them and you independent thinker intellectual dark web dark web if you're I'm not in, like the rest of you. if you're intelligent in any way and you want to like kind of make cool stuff and not like just become like bent on like pleasing one community then the second you speak mm -hmm. out they're gonna freak the fuck out of you and that's what happens with like the yep. smp people that's what happens with art twitter yep. that's what happens with like like political people a lot they experience audience capture oh, where they like will say one thing or they'll like build a channel off one like kind of opinion and the second they dissent like they become instantly like super hated and that's not something you mm -hmm. want to deal with like what you want to do is just like make good stuff that doesn't appeal to one kind of person and then just develop a more diverse audience that's the best thing you can do i just stay, wish stay out of politics it wasn't so exactly. i wish it wasn't so easy to lie about people and i wish yeah. when there was real shit happening people would stop like all this weird like social politic bullshit and just actually call it out when it happens if they can. You know, I understand, like, these are complicated situations. Sometimes you're not in the right position to call it out in that moment. But don't run counter campaigns against people trying to. The thing is, I think you're right. No, I, think, I, I, I think you're right. Like, that does suck. But at the same time, like, usually justice is just, like, written to, like, history once, like, the truth does come out. And people, like, like with the exactly. trick. Exactly. Like with a chip video, like on one hand, like everyone who was a part of it, like there was no justice. None of the people like got their comeuppance or whatever, like directly from the video. But like nature just takes its course. People who are bad actors in that situation are going to be forgotten or better forever. And like they don't gain anything mm -hmm. anyway. And it's like now the information's out yeah. there at least. And like that's just exactly. the course of nature. You have no idea how many like close friends of chip were like actually like turning against him because of that situation knowing all the information in that video not talking to me too still, like refusing yeah, and to like, like straight up explain. like siding with the twitter mob and the twitter narrative because it just wasn't optically good and they were actually mm -hmm. like just burning that bridge over that i i even told some of them i'm like look dude look I completely understand not wanting to publicly associate with me right now. It's not going to hurt my feelings if you just admit that, but stop trying to like, they would, they were like t coming to me and saying like, you've become a different person now and you've changed. And I'm like, dude, no, that's, I told, I, I like literally said, that's complete bullshit. I know it is. I know this is an optics thing. Dude, from you knowing you, me, like you've always been a completely I, degenerate. I, <laughs> there, was, exactly. there were people exactly. there were people that in response to finding out that like his family was being harassed didn't give a shit and were just like continuously being like dude this is all your fault and you deserved it basically it's like no like, yeah these people were insane and close and friends like, too yeah. these are this is what happens when you like okay some people are cool but this is what happens when you become friends with a lot of twitter artists people or a lot of twitter meme people like all these gimmick account idiots yeah. morons they're completely like their their presence is is through the dopamine fucking addict platform of twitter like short term it ruins your brain gold brain goldfish brain memory yeah it's like yeah ridiculous bro i've had a lot of time to think about it and i've come to the conclusion this is nothing new but what it is exactly definitively is that twitter the 
for, I don't want to say cancel culture because that word has such a bad association now, but you know, the Twitter mob, the pressure that's become so ingrained in the culture of Twitter and the people that use it now that it's become part of their psychology to the point to where people without any second guess, without any second thought, they will throw away everything and throw away all of their principles and morals on a whim just to adapt to whatever the culture is telling them in the moment. It can be, they can wake up one morning and if something's on their timeline, they'll cut off their closest best friend Hasn't if they that, need to because I've, I've, they're so used to it now. That's true. But on a grander scale, like for people who aren't totally Twitter brain, but still engage in it, like even I do this, like everyone who, yeah. who has ever used Twitter is like a part of this like diagnosis that I'm giving. I mean, the, the nature of the site is basically just like posting the most inflammatory thing possible for upvotes, yeah. whether it's true or not like any opinion yeah like the most dishonest thing possible like it's just post it it gets upvotes and like the thing is you saw that especially with like i mean even recently the quite thing like every mm -hmm. a bunch of people like called that dude a and got like cloud off of it and the thing and these are yeah. people who like as soon as the other information came out where there like actually was some kind of evidence of any kind uh that he wasn't guilty they immediately backtracked mm -hmm. and apologized to him and like i don't blame him for like accepting this people with open arms because like you don't want to antagonize the entire community if they're exactly. trying to apologize to you but at the same time like those people are all like and like should not be trusted with almost any well, information like ever. Tom, a lot of like, them a lot you know of them for are a fact just, they're just going to do it again to a different person in like three months but right? yeah like, the thing is they'll do it they'll, they'll do it to the opposite side they'll, they'll call someone else a false mm -hmm. accuser when they're actually yeah. a victim there's a there's a lot of plus it, it's you're never gonna there's no solution to this problem just it's because it's the just vast humanity. majority of people yeah it's, it's humanity nature. and also there's like an, an uh, just a constant cycle like revolving door of just like teenagers going on there just like and they're just gonna follow whatever narrative is popular because they because that's what they're encouraged to do and it's never going to that's there's you can never make like a you can make like a broad analysis of it, but you're never going to there's no solution you can't reach there's everyone it's be, impossible you're never going to reach people about it a potential solution is no longer forgiving people and i know that sounds bad but when people there's so many people on my twitter timeline i see that i just uh that i know remember from the quite situation they completely went for the jugular without a second thought and then immediately after refused to like even refused to apologize properly because they said like you should always you know like believe whatever you when people say that stuff because it's for the greater good because it more times out of 10 it helps people and like people like that like do not deserve to be forgiven like they they don't ever deserve to be forgiven Dude, there was this account think, like, <laughs> it's bad there's this account that i saw it's like they have like decent like popularity or whatever but like they're a decently popular account um like i want to say ten thousand followers and I, I think i have them blocked but um they tweeted out um like being like uh i, I tweeted something and they were like ain't you say the n-word and falsely accused like pyrocynical and i was like oh that's weird oh, yeah and during the quite thing like i didn't really say anything about it but i went to their timeline and i'm just like curiosity to like validate my own preconceptions this person was and thankfully they were because their next tweet was like i can't believe quite is a <laughs> it was just like it was Amazing. just it was just such a like white feeling thing on one hand just for my own personal ego but also like black feeling yeah. to be like oh this person is like retarded and like doomed to repeat the mistakes of their past oh yeah to, like and especially the that they're feeding into is going to eat them one day when you know as soon as they're as unfortunate to you know make the wrong friend or make the wrong move or just have some random guy that has a bad day that wants to ruin their life they're going to get eaten by their own culture that they've created yeah. it's like they will the worst True. the worst thing that like this whole because it's i think it's very important you know obviously this is not a, this is not a hot take at all obviously it's good that accusers and like actual victims can get on a platform and call out people who need who deserve to be called out but the problem the biggest issue is that like every single one of these turns into like a culture war weird like a weird battle like, you even movement. see it on like a mainstream level with like johnny depp versus amber heard it's yeah. like people they, they it's like this weird tribalistic thing you join a side and you rally behind it you don't even give a about the evidence it, you, you just no. you hope and pray that the evidence actually substantiates you what base you it believe on vibes, so you're right, right? about your, yeah oh, exactly God. the fact yeah. that there's like a uh there's like an amber heard like stan community and like a johnny depp stan thing is like so amazing i think They're a lot of generate these celebrities dude them both i wanted to tweet out at the time when it was going down but i just thought it wouldn't go well that like both sides are and probably were abusive to each other but it's just not like worth like it just wasn't worth Absolutely. dealing with at the time and i knew it but i think with hindsight in like a few years a lot of people will look back at that and be like that was weird. like everyone was just projecting their totally own weird. their own issues over relationships onto like <laughs> these two like, that's public they're figures they're both drug addicts degenerate probably child but, but the thing is like everyone, everyone was like yeah. oh f amber heard she just like my ex 
And it's yeah. like, is that really the way that we <laughs> should deal with like public dude. public discourse? Like, no, but people don't care because no, realistically, don't. why the like what is their what? Why are they invested in this thing? Like, do they do a lot of these people actually really care about the allegations? Like, even because they people, no. there are movements sparked up about like things as as much as like. A boyfriend and it's like is that really like that's that's not a crime is that really like no the worst thing do they like dream like, doing the just, war cry like, I'm not, that's yeah. so funny yeah i'm not even talking about like a i'm talking about just shitty boyfriend but yeah you see it happen it you see it you see it like gus johnson he got fucked over about for that yep. <laughs> no they, one they heard him the out words. they no always drop the power dynamic well the reason and, why like, yeah, no group, even when even it does, when it does apply when it does they not drop apply all these like relation like psychological like like terminology they have no idea what it means victim like it's all these things that just actually don't apply like they apply to specific things that do not apply like, and it, if you're if you're mm -hmm. a actual boyfriend who like doesn't care and is like uh neglectful that is not gonna be that's like you're an asshole you, sure you guys are not, right you guys are very right i think the thing you like a lot of people have to realize though and like i don't want to blame creators for this because it's hard to know what you're getting into when you start a youtube channel but it's like the audience at the end of the day is a reflection of the content unfortunately exactly and so it's like you may not like gus johnson didn't intentionally build that audience by like making his videos or like expressing the opinions he expressed like or like hanging out with people he hung out with like that wasn't his intention he just wanted to like do youtube but the unfortunate thing is that by the content you make, uh, you implicitly build up an audience of people who reflect that. And whatever happens as a result of that um, is like, I'm not saying it's your fault, but it's like, it's going to happen. And so I think that you need to like, like, like with stuff I do now, like I'm very conscious of things I post and things I do and ex opinions I express and like people I hang out with just for the reason that like, yeah. you don't want to build up an audience that will f eat you alive. And so exactly. like a lot of the time, yeah. especially as a commentary channel, like I feel like like I'm, I'm gonna sound hypocritical in this regard somewhat but there's there's oh there's always a temptation to like when someone you don't like is getting owned to just like totally piss on their grave or whatever and it's like mm -hmm. th that's fun sometimes but what you have to realize is like um that's that's part of like a horrible culture that you're contributing to and like yeah. what you have to what you really have to do and like people call you a, call me a fence sitter for this and it's like i mean whatever like maybe you can say that but what you really have to do is try to just like be as impartial as possible express your opinion and get out there exactly. and get out of there without much personal investment because what you end up doing is exactly. you have like you have like a community of people who like want to see the next thing mm -hmm. i like the reason i part of the reason i stopped doing losers creeps um is because like i don't want an audience of pet hunters in my in, like who just like want to see me exactly. talk about the next pet and like because it creates like a, a hunger for more yeah and and the thing is like those videos like did well they made me money like that's cool and like they were reliable like anytime i did one of those videos like oh, i knew it was i knew it was gonna be a banger i didn't have to worry about it but at the yeah. same time like i didn't want to have to rely on that and I, I also didn't want that audience i noticed like uh, a phenomenon happening that thankfully has stopped now for the most part but i noticed a phenomenon happening where people would like like a, a pet be exposed and then i'd get replies uh like oh. like like adding me being like can't wait for the turkey tom video or like even this even happened a bit with too mad like can't wait for the turkey tom video exposing your yeah and it's like like you're the arbiter yeah of i mean i don't know you're a commentary channel so people just expect you to eventually make a video that's true or they're just like memeing or something like that the thing yeah. is th there's a truth to that but there's also the problem of like people seek catharsis through content and i don't want to be that yeah, yeah exactly. true true but exactly. I, I feel like you're gonna end up being that regardless a little uh, bit but you can a little bit but because you, you, you can't avoid someone, it though right the, the, I think, the most. I think the big. Oh, go ahead, sorry, wait. I was just. I was just gonna say the most damaging thing you can do is like, <clears throat> is to fully invest and like play into this game where you're like n you're not following like the evidence where you're you're not because mm -hmm. you're not only hurting like people who are falsely accused you're hurting actual victims and every yeah, time well, like there's the pendulum is constantly swinging back and forth of people being like well this was this person was just falsely accused so i don't believe this idiot and or this person was just ac actually accused so you know they are they are guilty of like sexual assault or something and people yeah. just completely if you keep sweeping this back and forth like at a certain point, people are just going to get sick of it. They're going to si get sick exactly. of this arguing, and you're not going to actually know what's, like, true or not. The problem is that exactly. people have, like, a Marvel movie canon in their head yeah. of, like, the like like a narrative. Like, yeah. Everyone wants to put the world no. into a movie, and you can't do that. I was uh, I was about to say, because that reminds me, the, the biggest issue, and I think the easiest way to avoid it is by avoid doing this, but there's a culture of, especially among creators and YouTubers, where they have this sense of, like, oh, I need to get involved in everything. I need to involve myself yep. in this recent... I, everyone needs to hear my opinion on this new, like, 
creator that was outed or this new drama between these two people I need to comment on it I need to throw myself in the middle of it because you know i'm a youtuber my opinion's important i'm in this yeah. community you can't my see it that important. way though like, you can't see yourself as like yeah a hero. I, I, that's like a recent no. uh, lesson i've learned is that i'm gonna try and like speak less about Me things too. on twitter because like i always yeah. have the mindset of like oh we need the bow black stake of something on twitter even if i don't make a video yeah. on it i'm like well you need to yeah. take especially since i'm a drama youtuber and it's kind of like i guess what i do but like well honestly, the thing is like, like we're I just we're just need to give an opinion like i haven't even given an opinion on like the two mad thing because me too like, yeah well i kind of did but i the thing is i know what you mean i do well, I give an opinion on one aspect of it i think it's but, okay to give your opinion you just don't want to be like too personally invested or like be a crusader because we're just yeah like, or be definitive or, or well i'm yeah pretend to be objective like you know what's going on yeah like you don't i know what's, know going, what's on. going on like, we're just entertainers yeah. that's it that's how you yeah. have to see yourself you yeah, can't exactly. see yourself you can, as more yeah. than that like, like every you can literally you can laugh everything. in amusement at, at situations like being like wow this is really crazy like oh, two mads being wacky right now but if you like i'm always raising my eyebrows at people that are writing these like paragraph long analysis and stuff so and like, like it's like yeah the worst thing is like right the worst thing is when people see his twitter breakdown and they're like damn you looking guilty for real it's like is he yeah Everything he would be so much insane. easier if when people said their opinion and like made a judgment on something, they acknowledged the limitations of like their of their like knowledge of their exactly. of the info they have. Yeah, exactly. It's like, okay, there may not be enough info, but personally I'm leaning towards he's guilty. That's all you need to yeah. say. Yeah, yeah. And just and don't like, yeah. like yeah. people just can't no, do it. People that. just hate admitting that they don't know everything. Well like they're not on well, well, well the thing is I don't even blame them because you get so much social validation for pretending to know. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like I, mean, I, I know, know right now they're gonna they're gonna I, burn I in go hell. Twitter, I could go on Twitter right now and vague tweet about some artist and get like a bajillion likes and just instantly just from like dipshit. Yeah. Just basically, believe anything about someone that they already kind of slightly don't like already. I mean, like, yeah. they'll just use it as an excuse. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, like, with our generation, like, let's say people who are involved in media and whatever, one of our biggest traits is to like on like legacy media and be like, oh that sucks like you know yeah. no, nobody even watches that but at the end of the day like that stuff exists because like at one point and even to this day like fox news or cnn or msnbc or and all info wars like people do watch that like without without people stable, watching it yeah. without people watching it it wouldn't exist the the media yeah. is 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 not like telling the audience what to think the media is a direct reflection of what the audience wants to hear and see and unfortunately exactly. like that means that a lot of media is really bad but that's just how it is and it, it all comes down to human nature that's what it like all boils down to is just it's a reflection of human nature and humans really like being awful and i it's like not shocking like when i complain about this stuff it's not like i'm pretending to be this smart and sociologist that it's like this is what's happening yeah this it's is just coping it's not, honestly it's yeah it's how it <laughs> it's is just coping with reality this is just how it you, is it's also you like can, the best you can do is just try not to plan to it and be aware of it yourself but you can never ever change yeah. that i don't think although if it's not that serious and like it's someone that you do have a personal gripe against this kind of fun uh, like no of tipster, course like, tipster, that's just a regular like, conflict yeah, yeah 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 that's 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 yeah, human but, conflict yeah. which i think is different that, yeah that's but when it comes to you different. can't act like that when it comes to like essay allegations Strangers. or yeah and pedo or like even that's like none of your business like someone's like, marriage or something like that if you know? i don't know someone personally or if i'm not super invested in what they make i'm not gonna comment on it like what the f i don't have any stakes in dream or like whatever the hell he's up to now because yeah. i keep seeing people say he's like a grr. and like i you know i haven't even looked into it yet because it's like at the end of the day i have absolutely nothing to gain from that like I, i'm not gonna be like it, it annoys also me. Say, gay ass gimmick accounts like real youtube kids and it's like every other day i hate the those newest bro dream <laughs> it does suck like the newest like dream meme and it's like dude you're like playing into this shit so hard yeah. i will talk about it at, at the risk said, of watch uh, my videos covering <laughs> at the risk yeah. of sounding like too reddit and like gay like pseudo intellectual like i'm not saying like i'm above this like i've engaged in this undoubtedly and every, and, 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 and every human yeah. alive has unless you're like a total psychopath or whatever which maybe you don't but i don't know like everyone who has emotions like will play into this to varying degrees exactly it's just kind of like your responsibility to yourself and to like society to like try to not be the worst person ever yep well, you know what's frustrating about it is the really frustrating thing is that there's really not an easy way to win there's when when people like there's people that are definitely winning 
against this culture right now and are actually surviving really well. But it seems so inconsistent and it seems so few and far between because you can like on paper do all the right things right. Like you can be someone like, you know, Jack Stauber or Wendigoon. You guys know Wendigoon, right? Yeah, of course. Like you can you can be someone like Wendigoon who's so by the numbers and and safe, makes amazing content, but at the end of the day is very safe, right? Uh, I see Twitter po call it posts about him with thousands of likes by people that are like calling him out for appropriating Native American culture by selling merch with a Wendigo on it. Dude, like, I saw one like that had like a thousand likes that was saying he's creepy because he's a Sunday school teacher. Isn't that insane? Well, no, exactly, exactly, and it's. The thing, he's doing everything right. He seems like an outstanding individual, does not step on anyone's toes, keeps to himself, stays out of drama, and still he has a significant, like a, you know, like a very significant amount of people that just are out for his neck. And then you look at people like Sam Hyde, right? Completely opposite end of the spectrum, but somehow he's almost faring better in a sense. Like, because he has, he's created like this weird precedent where he's so outwardly the exact opposite. The thing is, extremely edgy. I, I think you're right, but these opinions aren't new. Like, you know, opinions yeah. like that have always existed. Yeah. Now, Twitter just like groups them all together and like amplifies it. Exactly. And another agree, another yeah. thing it's important to acknowledge is like that stuff does exist, but also like it doesn't really matter. Like in the case of like Twitter artists, like yeah. there are cases where the discourse gets too big and like people are, but like in most cases, like I just ignored their tweet. They got like 5,000 likes being like, this guy with no real explanation mm -hmm. and like it just exactly like it didn't mean anything yep. like another example would be like you talked about gimmick accounts this is really funny oh, that you know the bad youtube content account they've like posted my stuff before. yeah and um yeah the funny thing about it is like i <laughs> a lot of people like use that as like their like validation for like oh they posted the guy i don't like i i went on their account and i was just curious i was like there's no way like an adult runs this so they like linked their admins or whatever and like it was like a 14 year old like fortnite player <laughs> was like the number one guy who posts on that and it was like just kind of i mean on, obviously on one level is like validating for me to be like oh all these follow this account but it's also just like it doesn't really matter like that, that a you tweet to remember their kids yeah yeah like a tweet about my videos got like sixty thousand likes and like i think if i was a little younger and less experienced with like internet shit, i would have like modeled about that more but also i just like yeah. looked at it and i was like well this has sixty thousand likes but like it doesn't like it doesn't matter like i just muted the it's tweet not affecting traction you know no it's, yeah it's not actually have any tangible impact on anything and that's, just, the, that's the same with everyone there's always yeah. going to be people that there's always going to be people that uh Every single creator is going to have a pushback against them at some point in their life. And it's just, it just happens it, for me. It's almost popular. like a filter. It's yeah. like a filter that people pass through, like a great filter where a lot of people, it filters out creators when they hit that point, when they start developing haters. And some people just, that's how lol cows are made. I feel like a lot of like creators that are just, just don't react cows to it well. where they, they don't react to it well. They, they reply to every criticism they get. They mauled at it. I mean, I'm bad at that. I'll be honest, but that's because I'm an argumentative but like some people are really bad at it like they like I hate to bring it up but you know the pivka situation it's like they were the type of person where someone on twitter would say i like them but they tweet a little bit too much about mario and then they quote retweet it and write like a paragraph like ripping this person apart and it's like I bro if you keep that energy up you're gonna have a thread on a website with all your info on it that's how you like you attract trolls the thing you just have to realize is that like if you get any amount of attention for anything like if a hundred people see something you do yeah like seven of them will like think it's horrible and like 13 of them will be like that's kind of lame and that's just like what it is like that's just how the internet works but i think like maybe just people aren't accustomed to dealing with attention they don't know what it's like so as soon as it happens a little bit they tend to spurg the fuck out because like a, a few negative yep. a few people talk about them negatively you know there's like frequently tweets on twitter that get like thousands of likes like on me for you know whatever and it's like that sucks but it's you also like it, well, you just ignore it. You just ignore it and you move yeah. on. Like, so, okay, okay. Great example. Everyone knows Sunny B2. I don't really care what you think about his, like, Mr. Beast Chris video. That video, like, got so much hate. Hassan talked about it. Every every commentary channel, every streamer talked about it. Critical talked about it. He got, like, for a, for a day, he was, like, the guy to shit on. He ignored it, and one day later, it was gone. And nobody even talks yeah. about it. He, I mean, he, yeah. he was set up to be the next villain of YouTube. And he just, he took his own advice. He ignored it. He didn't respond. Yeah, exactly. And people forgot. I yeah. was going to say that, like, Twitter hate doesn't really translate that much into YouTube hate. Now, uh, Sunny V2 was a little different because there was also hate on YouTube. But generally, like, what, like for Turkey Tom, like, 600k likes on a tweet, like, uh, sh** mm -hmm. on him. Twitter's going to think he's cringe for a day. But during that day, he's getting hundreds of thousands of views on his YouTube videos of people who don't even know that he's getting on on Twitter. Even regardless of that, so like, like oh yeah. even if there's like a, a YouTube call-up video, 
I mean, there are. There's yeah. a Pyro Cynical has this video that has millions of views. He doesn't name me, but yeah. like everyone knew who it was about. Yeah. The Angela well, well, Wallace. Well, that did affect your growth for a while, right? It did, but it's like uh, I just came back and made content, and then it was bounced fine. back. The Angela yeah. Wallace yeah, has a video yeah, with yeah. like two million views, calling me like a racist kid or whatever. Nobody even talks about that video, and if they do, it's like yeah, like nothing I happens. I can't even remember his name the other day. I was like trying to think of his name, and I just couldn't remember it. All you have to do is just make make stuff that people watch, and that's it. And that's like yeah. in one way that's disturbing because it means yeah. that like people who are genuinely yeah. awful people will get away with being content creators on the other hand though yeah it's like comforting because it's like well people who aren't horrible people but like get accused of it will be fine and it's like just you know marketplace of ideas well it also exactly. depends what they're accused of though because some people they do continue with the content and then they just can't come back that's true depends but on the severity it depends it. on what yeah, you it do depends on severity like Carson. You, Carson yeah, with, with, with you like the worst people think of you is that like you put out like bad information and we're wrong and all that shit. The thing about Carson is edgy. Carson's the problem with Carson is like, okay, you can say people don't watch his content. Carson made content yeah. that was like marketable and like good at a very specific period of time. He had a bunch of friends exactly. that he kind of banked off of for content. He was kind of funny, but he had a lot of support from a community. And when he lost that community support and it was just him on his own making videos, like, I mean, he has, he's getting yep. like 300,000 views a video, which is like probably the oh, amount man. of people that would watch it for the content. But like people at the time were yeah. watching it because it was like a cultural phenomenon. And there was, you know, this whole huge Minecraft resurgence, and there was a community of creators, all that stuff. You're, you're completely right. I think a I think the better example would role. probably be uh, Creep Show Art. Like, do you yeah. think Creep Show Art could just ignore everything and continue? Well, the problem, the problem with no, her no. is like she built content for a kind of person, yes. which is like SJW blue-haired yes. fat lips. Yeah. And when she turned out yep. to be evil, like they didn't like that. Exactly. Or even look at someone like so. Hyojin. Hyojin's allegations, I think, were severe enough to where they wouldn't be able to bounce back. Uh, at this uh, point, I don't, I don't, I think I, I, could, I, I, I talked to Hyojin, uh, shortly, like right when that happened, I'm like, dude, what the f going on? What'd you do? And Hyojin, I was like, for when I first initially, I didn't know the full story, keep in mind when I, but I, we were even talking, I was like, you can, don't keep yourself. Like you can come back in like maybe two years and keep doing stuff, but you should definitely get off the internet. And I think that is true. But I think the problem with Hyojin is Hyojin but, made content once again for a type of person. For like a type yeah, of yeah, it was kind like, of art, art type people. It was like art, coomers, like theater kids, like Weast fans, like Tumblr people. Like she had a kind of archetype cross section of people, and when you lose that support, like you just lose that. Whereas if Yojin had been making memes and stuff about like beating boyfriends or whatever, and that was her audience, and then that came out, <laughs> like, like they, Sam Hyde, yeah, they would be like base. You know what I mean? And yeah, so it really like exactly. it, it's dependent on like the audience you build. You know, something I was thinking, and this would be a unique thing to talk about because your guys' perspective is like YouTubers. Um, it's a really interesting parallel between the YouTube community and the Twitter, specifically artist community is, is the approach towards growth and coping with like situations that would lead in like reduction of growth as like a creator. Because on Twitter, well, I guess I'll start with YouTube. Like YouTubers, like you said, Sunny V2, got in a bit of trouble uh, for something, ignored it, went away, kept on trucking, right? Um, and that happens a lot on YouTube. That happens so much less frequently on Twitter with that, because, and I think a large part of that is that Twitter artists have are kind of the, probably the single most dumbest dipshits in the entire universe that have no understanding of how to grow as a creator in the world. Like they have a complete backwards view of the world and how humans work and how they can spread their shit. Because like I'll see Twitter artists and shit that will literally beg people not to retweet their art because they think that it reduces their growth because it's like a form of reposting. Like I've seen Twitter artists that mauled over like people having their artist profile pictures on Discord and stuff and not like asking them for explicit consent and stuff. And it's like, it's really funny compared to YouTube, like the YouTube community and their perspective on things because YouTubers seem to almost just embrace growth, keep to themselves and be quiet in a sense. And Twitter artists like manicure their like you're, I think you're right. To such an insane degree. That wasn't always the case, though. The difference now is that YouTube has become a place that, like, um, you can make money on, and so a lot of people will yeah. start channels for the explicit purpose of growing a business. Versus a lot of people uh, on Twitter, they start with like a, a community of stuff. Like, for example, me, right? Someone like me. Like, yeah. okay, I have some involvement in the community. I know creators. I know you. Like, I talk to people, but I yeah. still, I still, I'm, I'm aware of the fact that I need to keep a relative distance, just because it's like not worth it to be yeah. involved in social stuff. And part of the reason I do you don't that. Gain any Thing. You don't gain anything, but secondly, you could lose things. And what I could lose is like, mm -hmm. I pay five people consistently. I pay their rent. 
Like I have a weight on my shoulders yeah. to pay their to pay those people's rent. I'm t- I'm taking in responsibilities. Yeah, I'm taking in tens of thousands of dollars a month. If I don't do that, if I don't uphold my end of the bargain, they will lose. Like like one of the people who works for me has a kid, like man, th- and a wife. Those two are not getting fed. Yeah, two are not getting fed if I fuck up. So it's like there's a weight on my shoulders. Yeah. There's a pressure, and that's on one hand, it's like a lot of weight to handle. I think maybe for someone my age, but mm-hmm. also it gives me a sense of responsibility. Yeah, it's a motivation. It's like I have to do the right thing or else. Exactly. I have to do the thing for self-preservation or else they could get f***ed. And so I act a lot less selfishly. Like there's things I would like to say yeah. that I think would be funny on stream or on Twitter sometimes. It's just like, it's just not worth it because I'd rather keep mm-hmm. supporting this community, this community, my team of artists and talent yeah. that help me make videos and like... It's really important to me that I do that. But I think that a lot of people on Twitter or like people who build up an audience, but they didn't build it for the sake of making money. Like I was told by Noah Hugbox that like Carson, um, he made a bunch of money on YouTube, right? He didn't spend any of it. The night, the good, the best thing he bought was like a Toyota Corolla. Like he got rich and he bought a Toyota Corolla. And it's like, that's just not someone who has a mind for like almost anything outside of like Twitter and Discord validation. You know what I mean? Like on one hand, you can rail all you want about YouTubers who buy expensive cars or buy nice houses. And but like at least they care about things outside of yeah, YouTube. Yeah. At least they care about like material yeah. wealth and like possession and growing like what they have in the real world. Someone like Carson, like you tangible know, he, things. Yeah, yeah. Someone like Carson, like I don't know how he is now. Maybe he's different, but he's someone who's like at least at the time was totally concerned with the intangible. He was just concerned with like numbers and growth and like social validation from like Twitter people, mm-hmm. and like that was it. And you really don't want that. That's a yeah. th- that was a big tangent, kind of unrelated, but yeah. No, no, you're completely right. Everything changes when you have like people depending on you and you have uh, something to look forward to in the future. And I think that's a big thing with a lot of YouTubers and I guess just adults in general. Like it's a sign you're on the right track. Um, For sure. When you're not on the right track is when you have nothing to depend, nobody depending on you, nothing to look forward to. And you, you know, spend all your time on the computer all day, like getting in the drama and sh- yeah. like, with like 12 year olds. Actually, Anyways, that's cool. I will be I right think, back. I think more people should do that. Thank you, C Dollar, for two who says that's bathroom. based. Honestly, that's why I follow you. Have a good bathroom break. Break. I actually have a funny anecdote that I'll share about Sonny when uh, Chip gets back. But Sonny is, I like Sonny. He's cool. I will never turn but my the- back on Sonny V2. If Sonny V2 has one, has a million fans, I'm one of them. If Sonny V2 has 10 fans, I'm one of them. If Sonny V2 has no fans, he doesn't because I'm his fan. Um, that's what's up. Uh, C-Dollar, I'm going to read the rest of your donuts. For two, hey, Tom, do you watch Rakeda Law? I have. I'm not a huge viewer, but I have watched Rakeda. He's got some good stuff. C dollars says this is actually interesting. Wow, glad you think it's interesting. You still live, raw. I am live. I know you sent some other donuts. I'm sorry I missed them, but I hope I make up for it. Sasha says, Do you have a dollar figure or a bar you set to be a lot looser on stream? Edgier or take more risk? I don't have a dollar figure on stream. I just like to chill out. I mean it's nice when I get donos. I appreciate you guys donating, but end of the day, like I'm hoping this will be more of a long term thing. And I also just make the real money on streams on the ad revenue from posting clips. So I'm kind of fine with like taking the hit. It also is just fun. Like there's also like yeah. like money's good and like stuff like that's good, but also just like having fun and interacting with the audience a little bit and like just doing that, which is like it's kind of contrary to what I'm saying about like not being attached to the community, but talking to people who are like chill enough to watch one of my streams, if it's just me playing Fortnite and talking shit with like Chipple Dipple and Bernie and Bo Blacks, like people who are cool with that are probably bound to be less like insane than like other people maybe, and that's part of why I just yeah. like am chill with just doing what I do here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I only stream pretty much for fun too. Cause if you start streaming like specifically to like make money to like live and you're relying on it, like I mean, it can it can work, I, I, but I I'm not know. I'm not you, someone you wanna, like, I'm not someone who's willing to sacrifice everything that it takes. I think to be like a genuinely successful streamer. Like successful streamers are generally not like super. I'm just gonna die in Fortnite. I don't care. They're not like generally super happy people. Like XQC yeah, and XQC and Asmongold, like. An that's true, but they also like being on your computer for 17 hours a day doing like retarded sh- like having nothing else outside of like like having your whole personal relationships like outed on like stream and sh- like Destiny to me seems to be the only person who can handle that and genuinely be like happy with his life and I respect that but also I don't envy it at all. Yeah, e- even with him I'm worried that like he's kind of like sad or not like as mentally th- all there as I mean it's it up to be him because I know yeah. it's up to him, obviously, but just those circumstances, I don't think 
most it, it's definitely hard to handle like i don't know like yeah. having all that he has something weird mentally everyone like like i could never handle that yeah me neither i think most people couldn't and he seems to be handling it well and i don't doubt that he is but like even for him it must be like a mental strain like some days he just wakes up and he's like ah oh, why do i have all this attention on me and shit like that yeah. and have my whole life that's why i don't i don't want to rely on stream for my income because it would be i think it would be hell yeah exactly you, you would have to like uh rely on um your audience uh being like appeased all the time and it'd be it'd be really stressful it's also just like having sure. your whole personal life like on the internet is not fun yeah uh, and also for... i feel oh, sorry, like oh. i feel like um relying on donations as your main like source of revenue is just like inconsistent at least with ad revenue you make the video you get the revenue and that's that obviously you have to deal with demonetization and stuff like that but with, with um a stream audience like everyone has to love you and be in the position to want to donate to you because if you piss off your donators you just make less money i mean also streaming for a lot of people yeah you're right it's very based on like social hierarchy and validation and if you're not yeah. in if you're not in that like kind of click at the moment like you kind of get owned i got to read some donos oppie for two says tommy look yeah. like my tio i believe tio means uncle in spanish so glad i look like your uncle um better looking than your dad much like me uh no name for five says my nether regions are purple and affected why must boblax punish me boblax who answer the allegations what'd you do uh true cowboy yeah, says does youtube really pay enough to make it a full-time job i mean for me yeah, yeah. well yeah for, for boblax for a lot of people i gotta get some more yeah it, for full time i i'd say you'd have to probably get like 50k views a video on average for full time that seems about right he just walked away. It's over. It's it just me and over. you, Bobby. And, and Chipple's deafened, dude. He doesn't want to hear my ass after they just the two allegations, dude. True. They're gone. Everyone's saying Mel time. Is it Mel time? Mel time? Dude, Mel time, dude. Dude, Kai, Kai has Tom by the balls, all right? I saw it yeah, first, I Dan. About, I don't know about that, but what makes yeah, you say I'm that? Jo I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mel time. It's just funny it's to Mel think time. about, dude. But no. It's Ronald time? Why is Tom's Ronald Riz in chat and not here? Ronald Riz, call in. Bo Black's time, hell yeah, Bobby time. Yeah, can we get Ronald Riz in the VC? What is going on here? Uh, Bo Black, do you have anything you can leak? I can't any leak. any hot goss? Any? We had we just went through all the S and P Earth leaks, okay? I just want to share a funny anecdote um, about Sunny because we were talking about Sunny, if you remember. So I actually yeah. I know Sunny a little bit, just very vaguely. I just have him on Discord, and we were I messaged him about something unrelated to uh, the drama. When it was going on with him but i just like messaged him about some thumbnail stuff and he got back to me um and he was like oh sorry man i didn't get back to you for like a week i haven't been on twitter and everything for like three weeks i was just making videos and i was just like thinking about how the fact he probably didn't even like see a lot of the shit that went down with him like he didn't he probably like vaguely heard of it and was just like i'm gonna ignore that and that's like so much more uh mentally mature than like 98 percent of everyone in the world yeah for sure dude, uh, dude i feel like majority of content creators like 90 percent of them in sunny tv2's position would be like freaking out making responses like, imagine how funny that would have been though like sunny v2 hops on stream it's like you mother you pieces of shit. you can't do this to me i'm innocent i'm right yeah. you guys Let we needed to <laughs> it would be so done hilarious but yeah i feel like most youtubers would have at least made a statement or a comment or something it's like extremely abnormal that he didn't say anything but like that's also like i mean yeah, so i'm that's not saying it's him. a bad thing i'm yeah i'm not saying it's a bad thing i'm just like my surprised up, bro. like time of day yo my my, my camera because i i don't i don't think i could have said nothing if it, i was in that position i 100 percent would have said something i probably would have spurred yeah no cap my camera's uh, but you know but if he was a streamer he definitely would have had to say something i don't think he could have ignored it well, but that's the beauty of being a youtuber you can just like yeah. work on the video and then f off like you don't need to appease that uh like answer the your audience directly as a youtuber you could just like never look at the comments you could have no idea what your fan base is like and be completely fine but as a streamer you have to be dialed into that sh and appease them at every turn in order to get those juicy donuts. Bro, f the comments. They were just... Yeah, all you guys. Except for the ones that don't know. You guys are cool. Because <laughs> we have to be cool with you.
You bribe us to like you. Yeah. Guys, you all the, that person who just sent ten dollars, you have all the power over Dom. Oppy says, you're the first person to ever pronounce my username properly since I started using it four years ago. It's well, happy happy you day, I guess. Happy you day, bro. How did you pronounce it? Oppy? Oppy, I think I said. Oh. Just, yo, tell Chip to release his bandcamp music. Uh he's in the back. He's right deafened. Now. He's or something. He's been taking his he's been taking he's a fat for like thirty uh, minutes. He, Dude, he's sending his shit on Discord to everyone. It's been, like, right it's been like five minutes. <laughs> Dude, he's doing an individual shit for every friend on Discord. Bernie, can you play it's Fortnite like with me? It's getting boring to play alone. You want me to play with you? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> that. Yeah. Are you mad? Yeah. Let's he like called Boblax gay in his latest stream. Okay. What was the context? Boblax, do you want to play? Ben 10. Do you want to play? Or Shift 10. Uh, sure. Is your name just Boblax? Are you on or? Oh, you are on. Uh, Obi. I, w I will get on, yeah. If my sh is Wait, updated. I am curious. Shift 10 in the chat did say Leafy called Boblax gay in his latest stream. I'm curious on the context. We got flipped. I think he was looking at the video of you sucking uh, a penis uh, and he decided to call you gay. Yeah, dude. They called him gay? There's dude, a lot of things it's to over. call gay for. I'm just curious which what one What is the it gayest is. thing you've done? Uh, I shat on Sunny V2. I made what? a video on him. Yeah, it's kind of gay. Why is that gay? Um, because I'm pro trans. Dude. Oh wait. <laughs> Wouldn't Lee? Is it, that's what Leafy's just talking about all the time. It's like trans. Shit, so I'd assume that's why he called me gay because I had like some fucking take or some. Because you're part of the woke agenda. Yeah, or maybe he just looked at me and called me gay. That would be funnier. I hope that's the Leafy's case. Like... He just looks. He looks at my hair and he's like, "Are you?" Or whatever, you know. Leafy's Connor. like, I wonder, I wonder when people are gonna start like scrutinizing him more. <laughs> I know, like, there's a huge mob, but I mean more like in an actual sense, not just about like his takes. <laughs> it will happen. Well, I don't, I don't want to give takes on things anymore, dude. I'm fence sitting forever. It will happen. The same people you pander to will destroy you. So me being okay with trans people is pandering. Like, I just don't get that, but. Like, I know yeah, there's, like, world. a huge <laughs> side of, like, pro and anti, but, like, I don't know how me Bro, accepting people's I ain't, I ain't weighing in, but they got this song by Crystal Castles called Transgender. That sh was fire. Sorry, I'm, like, by the way, I'm just waiting for the game to update right now. Bruh. Oh, my God. Tell Boblox to box Jade and McNeil. Why? Hello. That's Hi, such Chipple. a waste of an opponent. Chipple dipple. Hey, I have a question. Who's Augie? I don't know. Dude, Augie Some is... Rare. You need to be afraid of him. He will destroy you, dude. Are He's you the serious? most dangerous man in commentary. Yeah. Dude, people people, people around here, they call him... People around here, they call him the RFC Maverick. This is real. Bernie, get What's in, is he Augie? Wait, oh, is that Augie it's RFC? It's updating, exactly. asshole. Yeah, that's his channel, bro. <laughs> Oh, I think I know It's him. at 15%. I'm not too well versed with uh, commentary. Augie's shit, cool. He makes good stuff. Oh, you see him because he was in this group chat, I realize. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he's like cool. Dude, he's Augie, because he left halfway through VidCon for like. He left it, before the no best reason, two nights, okay? bro. He missed the most Kino events yeah, ever. And, and it was to work on content, and he didn't upload anything or stream anything. He streamed once, and it was after we were already back anyway. Yeah, so like he lit like that two day period. Actually, yeah, what was he doing? Sucking. Dude, he was one hundred percent like not doing anything, like playing video games, jerking off, like. He just like got annoyed with all of us. He's like, F you guys. But he had his flight booked in advance or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I he, think well, he, just he knew didn't that he would get annoyed. To stay. Dude, my f my, sh my camera won't. Well, work. I don't know. I feel like we all like knew that we were staying till Sunday. I don't know. But. Yeah, Augie dodged. He dodged dude, the debates yeah, the last dude. two nights. Do my the big, debates? Intense debates, dude. Yeah, dude, the also, last two nights they were the best nights because we all sat around the table and debated for six hours straight. That's all that happened. What I'm more annoyed at, rather than him leaving early, is that he left early to make content. We missed out on like being on the ground floor with the two matches because we were out there. Augie wasn't, and then he never capitalized on that. I'm like, oh. Bro. He's like, you spent those two days creaming, dude. Because, like, if I anything. was there early, I, I'd be He's like, doing that, like doing that right away. But. Bro. I mean, like, I I understand on something. So he was like, I think he has like a trip or something lined up, but probably wanted just more time at home. But but he didn't even capitalize with the two mat. He covered it like three days after. That's true. That was stupid. 
I guess it worked out. I guess, but if Augie just wasn't lazy and more diligent, like, he could be so much bigger. Same with Nick. And you. Just for all and you. me. Yeah, but I feel like, I mean... Yeah, they're so lazy. Yeah, I, get a, little, up, I get a little lazy sometimes, but I couldn't be... I'm not, like, at max efficiency, but I feel like... You're not as bad. You're not as bad. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I, I literally... To... You're in a call with two people who don't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> we literally don't do anything. We just, like... Yeah, when's uh, SMP Earth Dude, Why does this... On? Uh, if is, Minecraft ever uh, comes back, I'll be the first to do it. I swear to God, it'd be fun. It, it'd be fun with what I know now and my knowledge down. My like the people I know now, it would be fun. I think I would be able to pull it off if I could do it today. Yeah, uh, there's no. Would it there's be no more similar... edgy because only like more edgy yeah. people would want to work with you? Because I know like you have like a bad reputation among the, uh, the squeaky cleans, you know. Yeah, I want to. I definitely want to lean into are. something more. This is gonna sound so gay, but like lean into something more like Squid Tank, where it's like. Obviously, the people behind it are pretty edgy, right? But Fish still, tank. people across all walks still like it because it's disconnected from the people if the, in enough, if that makes sense. Like, yeah. I tried way too hard to be a personality back when SMP Earth was a thing. I'm like, I'm Chipple Dipple. I own, I'm the owner of the server. Hi, welcome to my server. Like, you know what I mean? Like that, yeah. uh, where I made it like an extension of myself. And that is what got me in the trouble. If I did it today, I'd have the project have its own identity and I would uh, take a hands-off approach to that type of stuff and make it seem like yeah. it's a neutral universal ground for like anybody to be a part of i i wish that there were yep. like i wish video games were still good like online video games because I, I love running big servers with like cr crazy people in them it's <sighs> really fun yeah there hasn't been a new big like multiplayer game that everyone plays in bernie a while. is your game like, not updated bro what the f wrong with you yeah there's nothing it's at like 80 percent it's at 80 percent also uh, um <clears throat> the last one was among you. us really and yeah yeah that's the real thing to call it too mad for is he plays overwatch and like bro, dude no one cares about that game, bro. get off that overwatch you like garbage. bro overwatch sucks ass. like stop playing that game Wasn't the only people who play that game he, like was around. are like <laughs> yeah well it's not popular and that's why no one watches his streams because they suck overwatch sucks stop streaming overwatch that's the real lesson to take away from all this <laughs> I don't think he'd go, be Fortnite. going mentally insane if he played Fortnite instead. No, no. I think the Overwatch TF2, is making him crazy. If he played TF2, he'd be outed for talking to minors right now. Just saying. Oh, wait, he already <laughs> is getting outed for talking to minors. Well, God damn it. I Joke think, failed. Um, <laughs> I, think, I think it's not like a minor allegation. It's just a essay. Oh. It's just the right dude. No, there was um, one girl on Twitter who like got 10 likes claiming that she was like a minor or something, but she didn't really elaborate. 10 likes, dude, it's over. Literally 10 likes, yeah. You have to get 100 likes for me to take that seriously. That's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah, I, I wonder how many, like, that. allegations... Like, I wonder how many people have made allegations before against creators, but it just had, it got, like, 5 likes and just got, like, memory hold. Like, yeah. A lot. A lot more than you really? think. Yes. Yeah, uh, kind of... I want to say that's kind of scary. <clears throat> I want to say it's kind of scary, but at the same time, like, you know, it's... One of the things that I've the learned... Of them. Um... In, in being in like this space is and also seeing like a lot of the weaponization of like the the me too sh and just like on both yeah. sides is that there are so many like people with like clear evidence with like def like they're definitely not lying and sometimes i've even talked to these people but they don't want to make it public because of that like the social media war that inevitably will will happen and so the consequence of that is then this person has the ability to victimize further people i don't know that's one of the most yeah. i think depressing kind of consequences yeah i don't know fortnite's almost okay fortnite's up we won also the best part of our channels tom is we can literally make videos on any topic and not even give our opinion and still make the video yeah i mean to an extent definitely i mean there's some level of like consistency but yeah yeah, just like give the information, that's it. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever done that though. I think you always have your opinion strength built in, right? Uh, I mean, main channel videos are pretty impartial. Depends. It, it seems like it, it seems like whenever you integrate opinions, it's pretty distinct. Like it's very obvious when you are. Uh, like, I try to like. It's presented in a non dishonest way. It's very honest. It's like a cringe thing that I do, but it's also like I feel like the most ethical, which is I take like an aside to be like, and this is what I think. Which yeah, is like, yeah, yeah. it That's sucks I do that too. It, for like the sake of like content, maybe it's not as good, but like, it's just the best thing to do, I think. 
You don't want to mix in because oh, yeah. you don't want to be selective with information. That's how a lot of people do it. They just like leave things out. 